Right, um, I am Mark, your kind and generous dungeon master. If you are sitting comfortably, stop it! There is no happiness here, only Zool, only pain, I mean. Um, so, um, we should begin. Captivity with House Shom. That's where we were last session. Now our heroes have escaped the gif into whose tender mercies they were delivered, fled back across the desert, and returned to Alteruk to track down their hated enemy, Lalarash. Also, something about some beetles, but I think that's pretty low on their list of priorities, actually. Um, the beetles are being used to screw with the sonic abilities of anyone who is bitten by them, as Senex is ably proving every time he uses the sonic's power. And I say that'll cost you 50 million more sonic's power points. Our heroes met up with a, a house shom informant, a mool known as Yarnak, who told them where they could find a secret house shom hideout in Alteruk, after which he was promptly slain by a creature from the Outer Plains. And uh, there was a whole complicated thing involving pretending Siora was dead, and then she wasn't, and then she was, and, and nobody's weapons could hurt the thing, um, but eventually it went away. In the course of this battle, our heroes were aided, sort of, by a preserver by the name of Aris Fistanales, who would appears to be a figure of some, some station here in Alteruk. As the battle has wound down, the dust has settled, and the unfair outer planar creatures have returned to their plane of existence. Aris Fistanales has invited our heroes to a small meeting in a tower which forms his abode. He has openly used preserving magic, showing that practitioners of the arcane arts are viewed somewhat differently in Alderuk. No one tried to lynch him. In fact, the guards refer to him as commander. It's just not fair, really. In Tyr, they actually liberated the city and still people want to lynch them. Alderuk, a slave town in the middle of nowhere. People treat them fine. Unfair, unfair, I tell you. So now in the company of Aris Fistanales, our heroes make their way across uh, Alteruk's squares to his tower, just on the inside of its great non-giant proof walls. The camera tracks briefly away from them, however, to zoom in upon a pair of scaled figures observing the situation from a nearby rooftop. We have a brief flashback to the previous episode, our heroes being carried away in various manacles and placed inside large bone cages and among them Darje, slipping his bonds, sliding between the bars of aforementioned cages and vanishing down an alleyway to safety to spend the ensuing episode sunbathing on the roof while our, com our his companions did all the hard work and fought Gif and all that stuff about the Therastu Dima Dam that I just mentioned. Now, you see your companions being led off in the company of a tall man in dusty white robes, a veil across his face. Silba, Senex's critic lizard, jumps up and scuttles forward to the edge of the building and looks over the edge, a small tongue tasting the air, looks back at you and then bounds down the side of the building on some packing crates, a large barrel, and comes scuttling up to you, Senex. RJ, I presume at this point uh, you rejoin your companions in a narratively entirely convincing and seamless fashion. <laughs> that Jay was here the whole time. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Here yeah, the whole time. Not you, Selba. Oh. Yes, I, Selba. I, I scoop up RJ and, and, and just give him a little squeeze. Oh, he gives you little happy croons. Okay. Aristvist Annalise's abode is, as I mentioned, a small tower just within the walls of Alteruk. A couple of his guards take up positions on the outside, and he leads you into a cool salon on the lower level. It's large open windows looking out across the marketplace. A couple of servants, slaves, you're not sure, at a nod from the tower's master, produce water, fresh fruit, cold meats. 
and he uh, removes the veil from his face. The man in his late fifties, keen eyes, a hawkish nose. Please be seated, he says. Thank you. Explain to me what you're doing here properly. Start at the beginning, leave nothing out. We have to see if, if Alterok is able to show you some hospitality. Hospitality would be nice. We're on a mission from Lady Chirodius. We met. You I say a few days ago. The trader. A trader, a yes. Trader, yes. She has tasked us to find out something about these strange beetles that stop psionic power. And I showed like where I've been bit I've been bitten myself and it's affecting me. What's her interest in this? They're smuggling uh, on her caravan. How shom. She, she didn't know that when she asked us. That we figured this out during our investigations. That explains the uh, altercation that was outside the walls Yes. a few days ago. We found mm -hmm. out and they uh, <clears throat> tried to clean up their, uh, their mess. BS. Oh, Sean uh, has powerful members in it, including defilers. Well, mm -hmm. they paid my guards a hefty sum. They said they were wanting to retrieve stolen property aboard, uh, aboard a Carodius caravan. They were saying they were covering up smuggling activities. Yes. Yes. They're actually uh, distributing the, the smuggled uh, wares out of your uh, town here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we got, uh, of course, uh, attacked by, uh, well, one of their uh, higher-ups, and he brought in a defiler who attacked it us was... here as well. We had an informant from House Shom who met with me to tell me the secret location of their distribution center. As soon as they told me the information, uh, that beast killed him and then tried to kill me because I now know the information. Zuxus is a very smart plan um, to pretend I had already passed, worked out, and he disappeared. But if anything, it just proves the intel correct. That's why my guard shot you. Yes. <laughs> right. It had to look convincing and it clearly convinced your guards. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I take it you won't leave from me to root out this Sean safe house? Yes. I am in no condition to do that. I am in no condition to offer you any aid. I know. This is a trade post. How Shum caravans come through here every ten days or so. We understand. Uh, we charge them. Going for a sanctuary. For how long? The night will suffice. To recuperate and get ready. Do you have any physicians here? Do you mean priests? Or do you mean healers? I, I don't know what I need. If I... This is draining my mental capacity. Whatever this bite is, it's a danger to me and every other psionicist on this, on this land. I have no mind benders on my staff. We uh, enjoy. We preservers 
enjoy the support of the populace here, a rarity in the tablelands. But I have no overt love for House Shom. They trade with the GIF, and as you say, they employ defilers. And if in, what you say in is your true, town. yes, just one such summoned a creature from the deep. I will give you a night sanctuary. After that, you must either be on your way beyond these walls or to whatever other destination within them meets your needs. <clears throat> I give you leave to root out this Shom safe house. But no more. I want no wholesale slaughter within the walls of Alterok. You understand me? Yes. Their trade must continue to flow through here. This matter of the beetles. Well, I think anything that imbalances the use of the will and the way in the tablelands can only be bad. After that debacle last year, we have no desire to see a repeat of such things. I can also imagine that uh, since they use uh, your town as a distribution center, inevitably, if you would let it continue, it would invite uh, a lot more serious trouble than uh, House Kerodias uh, at your doorstep. Possibly, possibly. We are sponsored by Haz's uh, Wavir, Reese, and Tomdador of Balak. I think those combined give us a degree of security. And I'll be honest with you that Alteruk is used as a hub of smuggling and slave trade is uh, a reality I am forced to accept. It is the trade-off that I have made peace with in return for myself and my kind being able to practice our arts here. Yes, but you but, want to do it in peace, so you want to keep doing it in peace. Yes, but I understand your position. So as I say, find this hay house, do what you need to do. Do not let the conflicts spread out into the street. My guards will turn a blind eye so long as you are discreet. What you did earlier for us, I really appreciate it. And your power was very impressive. Thank you. I didn't do it for you, but you're oh, welcome know. all the same. If there's anything I can do in return, just name it. Mm. Thank you, I'll bear that in mind. Please enjoy my water, enjoy my food. To the left there, you'll see some small rooms. You may make yourselves comfortable there. I have some matters to attend to. If I do not see you before the morning, go with my good wishes. Of your father, by may I ask? What of him? I... I'm guessing it. Must, he must have passed. Yes. Some, uh, some ten years ago. He was a good man. I knew him as a boy. I do not know why, Senex, you seem blessed with longevity. Blessed, cursed. You remember Selba, don't you? <laughs> You're telling me that's the same lizard? Mm, it is. He's very... robust. You must be a king's age or more. In age. I have no idea. How is this? I have no answer for that either, I'm afraid. Well, perhaps it is not a blessing at all. No. Or it just is. Who knows? 
Hmm. Your father saved me when we were younger. Well, when he was younger. Did he now? From the mines. He spoke a little of Smoking Crown and his slavery there. It was him who I got my passion for the jewels from. That he taught me. Uh, yes. Yes. Well, I have many memories of him, him sitting up. I dozed at his feet while he worked on some piece of gem craft or other. Sorry, I was not here past. My memory, like a sieve sometimes. Wait, I, <clears throat> I have something for you. And Iris Fistanelis goes over to uh, one of the side rooms. You can hear him rummaging around in a box or a desk or a chest or something. <clears throat> he comes back. And uh, there's a small little leather pouch. Lays it on the table in front of you and flips it open. Within, you can see a set of gem-working tools. These are my father's. I think he would have wanted you to have them. I smile. I recognize thee. Thank you. No. Thank you for bringing me a memory of, uh, well, of a man I have not seen in many years. They're quietly looking at the tools. Uh, in game terms, those will give you a plus two on all your uh, craft gem cutting uh, rolls. Woohoo! And of course, they, re they replace the ones that I have replaced been replaced by lost ones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gem tools, plus two. Well. May they serve you as well as they served him. Thank you again. He bows once more to you all, replaces his veil across his face, and heads out into the dusty, uh, the dusty evening. Senex. Yes. Do you really know? Do you really not know what has caused your longevity? I think the easy answer is But you have an idea. Out of context, Mark, do I know? I think that's up to you, really. We'll certainly be examining it as the as the campaign progresses. Yeah. How much of that you wish to front load for yourself is entirely up to you. I know why, but something that I would rather keep for everyone's safety. Especially Selba here. Lizard looks looks up at it with one eye, and then tucks her nose between uh, underneath her tail. This house, this tower that we're currently in, um, is how how high quality is it? Is this like luxury? Is this like? Kind of you, get, mid. You, you get the impression that if Aris Vistanelis wanted to live in luxury, he could. Mm. The furnishings are simple but of good quality. The stonework is unassuming but solid. The food is basic fare, but again, of good quality. Looking into the side rooms, you can see actual beds. Um, you, see, you can see carafes of water. Mm. You can see the, uh, uh, the, the locks on the doors are made of metal. 
there's unostentatious wealth here for sure. This boy you know or knew, is he married? Like, who are you talking to? Senex. <laughs> what, sorry, what boy? The one you once knew, this man now. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have no idea. Did I notice a wedding ring? A band? You did not. He's probably married to his way. Hmm. Well, I very much plan to stake out House Sham, the distribution centre. I truly hope Lalaresh is there, but I understand, Senex, if you are unable to come due to your condition. I don't know what use I would be able to offer. I am absolutely spent. I have no idea if a rest will even replenish me. How about you others? We need to have a have a look on whether we can maybe remedy it, but I need to replenish my spells to be able to even attempt any of this. I'm presuming that uh, this is the same for... Uh, uh, yeah. I am spent. That battle drains my energies for the day. Why again? Really? Yeah, you've got to really be, you've got to really be on your mic. I have two power stones. I lost mine. Uh, if I was to provide them to you, Zuxus, do you think you would be able to use your spells? Um, for psionics, my. Oh, that's it. That's what uh, I thought. Yeah. yeah. You see. Well, I will give them to, um, I'll give them both to Senex. Actually, no, I'll give one to Senex. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're not going to uh, move on uh, Ashram anyway to the, tonight. Um, let's get some rest and we'll see you tomorrow morning and maybe we, between uh, <clears throat> my friend here, um, we can actually see whether we can actually attempt to uh, break whatever is uh, holding uh, you back. Celix. So we'll see. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to go to your characters. Darja, you are, of course, uninjured. Um, as for the rest of you... There we are. A night of healing, super of healing with the supervised bed rest uh, is going to be six hit points worth. Um, so for Senex, that would, according to what I'm seeing here, that would heal you entirely. So we'll just we do get that. full PSPs back, correct? And you get full PSPs and spells back, yes. My, nice. my max is 33, by the way. It is. That says 20, 27. Let me change that for you. I, um, I will do my best to, to uh, tend to everyone's wounds with my healing skill. Which I assume is what you're referring to. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just taking player agency away from you. Yes. Fair uh, enough. And just saying it out loud. It's all right. It's all right. If at any point this evening I see the preserver, I just try and you know make friendly with them and just try and give a, a good impression. Yep. Um, but other than that, I will just have a good nice rest. See yeah, one hundred percent. She's like, oh, he's a rich man. I see. Okay, <laughs> uh, and he's old, so I wouldn't have to live with him for very long. This okay. book cloud <laughs> seeks ceramics like the rest of us seek water. Good yeah. lord, um, Scathis, I had you down to eighteen hit points, so we'll add six to that, put you on twenty-four. Um, so you're actually at about fifty percent of uh, of your total. 
Uh, I'm assuming I've lost all of my uh, battlefield bombs and healing salves and all that stuff. Yes, everything's been taken away from you. Um, uh, Thicket, I had you down to 17, so we'll put you up to 23. Mm -hmm. Although you're out of, you've got the wrong max total there, so let's fix that. And Should have 34, I believe. Yeah, I've changed yeah. that now. And Suxis. Uh, I've got you down to 17 as well. Okay. So let's put, put that up to 23, but your max is actually correct. Um, my max is 29, right? 29, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Scathis, Thicket, and Suxis all have injuries of one kind or another. Um, uh, Scathis, they're, they're particularly bad on account of you getting knocked about the place by the, um, by the monster. Now, I'm assuming I can't make any kind of healing solves and such because they need to boil for a long time or something. They'll like take that. 24 hours, yeah. You, I mean, yeah. yes, you can, but that's another day. And yeah, don't forget, yeah, yeah. We, we did mention as well that the, um, the, the captured caravan is making its way down the trade road toward mm -hmm. Balak. Yeah, um, yeah. So each day that you delay uh, yeah. is a... Did Zuxa succeed in getting all the spell components that we would yes. want? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, she did. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that. No, but we're out of money because we really spent all our money. Were uh, you able to sell my spare daggers and my widow's blade? Um, and, uh, no, I have not actually done that. You gave Are you me talking that about at the end of everyone's the, uh, money? Because I, I still have 95 ceramics on my, on my sheet. We, right. we we lost all of our we money all and all our money. oh yeah well yeah, I I I, yeah, yeah, I didn't but no. everyone else did yeah, 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 yeah. no we got every I got everything except for the the hand crossbow for uh, Senex because that thing was too expensive uh, and I haven't sold those little items that you gave me but they will not amount to three hundred uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway. I I have I have five silver and four hundred plus ceramic so I can always. Fork the cost over for that. But you got Do you got that. I have for... my items still. So I was just going to say, Darje, because you weren't here. No, you haven't had your stuff rebought for you. Oh. So yours will have been nicked as well. So um, let's factor that in. Uh, what did you? What would you have needed? Uh, mm. A short Ar bow armor? and armor. I think is the primary things that you've lost. Yeah. So a regular armor is five. Uh, five ceramics. A uh, short bow is what? Fifty. Darje can have the short bow you bought for me. I can just use the spear. No, no, we, we can we can do this. Um, so if he's got fifty, it's fifty-five. Uh, uh, some arrows. It wasn't regular armor, by the way. It was the good stuff. No, no, but I, I'm replenishing on your regular armor, guys. Okay. We don't have the money. Okay. okay. No, no, that 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 will have to come at an, uh, another time. Perhaps your armor will be among the possessions they they Ho hopefully, kept in yeah. a caravan. I mean, maybe or, or maybe even here. You don't know. Maybe it's here. Yeah, it's also possible. Um, uh, so that's fifty-five plus the three hundred is three fifty-five. Uh, shall I make a roll to make that uh, with, the, with the, whether I get a discount on that? Yes, go ahead. And then we can move on. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Where's my deck sheet? If they'd be um, willing to trade, maybe with the daggers and the widow's knife, and make it cheaper as well. Yeah, Mark. Silly question: Do do druids need to prepare spells, or do you just get to pick whatever you want? You prepare um, your um, elemental spells. Cosmos spells can be cast spontaneously. Okay. Okay. Did we manage to pick up a manable sword? Yes. Yes. Wonderful. That's part of it. Yeah. Uh, bargain. Here we go. Roll. Uh, I fail, so no discount. Okay. 355 uh, it is kids cooking behind me come to me bring frying pans <laughs> all right so i'll remove 355 from my money yeah and that uh, uh takes care of uh, senna six handball and um of his um and then off of of Darje's, uh short bow and armor Okay, so um, so just to double check on this, um, Scathis, you've got the regular leather now, yeah? So do yeah. I. Okay, so I'm just adjusting armor classes here. So basically your armor class goes down by two points. 
Zooks as well. Regular armor. Regular leather. Yeah. And Darje as well. Yeah, I've got Darje. Um, so Scathis, your AC drops to a lowly 20. I'll never survive. How, how can you can't recover from this? Uh, Thicket is a mare armor, and Sooks is likewise. Ooh, lowly, lowly 13 or something? 13, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mark. Uh, remind me again, how many can I prepare? Is that the number of spells I get per day, or is that... What do you mean? So you know how you, you, you can... You, you Cosmos is spontaneous, but elemental spells you prepare. Do, do you... What is the amount I can prepare of those elemental spells? Up to Where your spells, but up to your spells per day. Up to your spells per day. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. um, I will uh, sell uh, Shiora's obsidian daggers and bone dagger and extra widow knife for her. But we'll we'll do that after the the session. Uh, well, how much that is for? Yeah. Cool. No problem. Yeah. Okay then, um, so I guess we'll have a, a, a night's rest in Aris Vistanley's tower. Um, you are un, uh, unhampered, undisturbed. Um, do you uh, now? You uh, druids are completely out of spells, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, so any healing will have to wait until the next day then. Yeah, correct. And I, I can prep some poisons as well, right, for the next day. As per, yes, as normal, yeah. and the same same applies for yeah. Darjay. And I saw in chat here, Siora, um, you were you got a couple of packets of poison. Yeah, I think they were from the mall that that died. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I, I yeah, I'll give those two to Darjay. Okay, so Darjay, uh, those are two packets of barbed scorpion venom. Ooh. -hoo. Uh, which I don't know if you actually have already. I don't no, think so, no. Oh, you do actually, yes. Yes, you do. Hmm. Yeah, so that's actually that's actually on your character sheet if when you if you ever need to apply that. So you've got your regular daily dose and then these two more that uh, that Siora has uh, has obtained for you. Yeah. I would like to meditate and uh, focus my crystal again. Yep, okay. Hold for it. Yes, I see. Nice, good. Uh, Chris, yes, Cosmos, um, uh, spontaneously and elemental spells, uh, prepared is a homebrew. Um, it's in my campaign guide and for elemental clerics, it's the reverse. They have to prepare Cosmos, but they can cast their elements spontaneously. Uh, and they do know she's in a land. Yes. <laughs> well, We're very aware. The famous pocket milk incident of episode two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Um, so let's move on to any healing that we want in the morning, and then you can go and stake out the safe house. Yes, I'm just quickly um, uh, choosing my prepared spells. Hold on one second. Okay, cool. Uh, do -do -do -do. Lee. How does Blink spend gold? Um, um, <laughs> spend, um, spend gold. <laughs> I'll try to remember. Hang on. We're looking into that right now. Uh, bye. <laughs> I can't remember. I haven't used it for so long. Okay. Right. Um, uh, healing magics for those who want to be healed. Where are we at? Okay. Um, so we need. I need to heal three people, correct? <laughs> You're still to play it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, Scathis is the worst off, and then you and Zuxis are moderately injured okay well let's start by We're both on uh, about 20, 23 each one I, I will take care of myself uh, so you don't have to think about it yeah you, you okay um i will give 
uh, Skathis a um, give him a cure serious wounds. So that's yeah. Let's see that. Uh, yeah, I hope. Fourteen. Okay, that puts you up to thirty-eight. Oh, nice. Nice. That is nice. It's a good roll. Good roll. I like it. Any more? Uh, how many? How short? How far is he from full? Twelve off. Twelve. Um, I'll give him a cure moderate. Okay. Seven off. Seven off. I'll yeah. give him another cure moderate then. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, that leaves you with uh, only two short, Scathis. You, you said he was seven off. That was seven. Oh, there's a seven there, sorry. Okay, no, that's... Uh, so that's... That's all of it. Well done. Yeah. Good job. Nice. Thank you. Um, okay. Let me just see. And myself. How far am I off? I'm I'm on twenty something, right? Twenty three, I think I said. But you can look at if you look on your token, you can see it, but I'll I'll just oh, you up. I haven't actually put my token anywhere, so uh yeah, you're on you're on, you're eleven off. You're on twenty three out of thirty four. Yeah. Okay. I'll um. I'll give myself a cure. Oh god. Um. I heal myself for, with two cure lights for nine hit points. Yeah, I see it. I'll do two cure lights for myself as well. At least I'll start with one and see how I do. Yep. Get the spells. So that's five. five. I'll do one more. Oh, for crying out loud. Really? Six. Okay, so 29. So you're five off. I'll give one... Oh, screw it. I'll give one, my, one more. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Okay, right. So everybody's fully healed. Nice. Nice. So that was okay. three, three cure lights. In the... Yeah. All right. All right, well, I've drained half of my spells already. <laughs> Good job. Being low, being low level is great. I see Kirodi has just won something. Then what was that? Blink hmm? redeemed a D20. Oh, hey, that is the first one of the new season, by the way. Um, partly because we didn't have this thing fucking running. But so thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I am changing it. Nice. I'm presuming that's me then, right? That's you, yes. yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 it's Kirodius. It's Kirodius. <laughs> <laughs> and that will uh, that carries over from session to session. So yes. that's um Thank you, thank yeah. you guys. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So um are you and are you gonna go now on this day or are you gonna wait another day to to recover these expended spell slots? If you are, it's fine, I'll, we'll just we'll skip right to it. But um um, I, I suppose we should just go today, right? Because we want to... Or do you have uh, no spells left? Hmm? Th thicket. No, no, we can go. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, should we... Um... Should we attempt to see whether we can heal uh, Senex? That's going to be some serious spells. I'm, I'm expecting. It's going to going to going to be at the the the. I mean, if we do that, then I I mean I can try, but I don't know if it will succeed, and that will use up my spells. Yeah, exactly. That's why and I'm. That, that's why that I'm will discussing cost it. us another day, perhaps, or at least I'll be very use, useless beyond today's healing attempts. So okay. it's it's a decision. I, Senex, you you are able to use your abilities. Did I manage to get any of my PSP's back? Yes, all of them. 
All of them. I could use my powers, but they are expensive. Yeah, but you can use them for this uh, coming. Uh, How many I don't stake know. out? Yeah, look, uh, we have a very limited uh, amount of spells ourselves, so it's be an exchange, and I would not be sure that we would actually get rid of of your predicament. So for us, it's also a guess and a gamble. So I think we will we'll postpone I... it maybe another day or something like that. I think we have can to I get a sense can I get a sense by doing a healing check to get a sense of if it's like I already tried that didn't I okay. I'm just trying to I'm trying to get a sense if like a remove curse or a cure disease might have any effect well that it's, without uh, having to waste the spell well that's that's the thing we just have right. to cast the spell right <laughs> Unless is there had, any uh, is there any in-game way of doing that I mean, without I mean, casting the spell? No. Right. There is no way of doing that. There's no way of. Okay. You don't even know what it is that's causing it. No. No. no exactly. And for all we know, it's completely psionic, and exactly. no, no no spell we have will have any effect. I mean, perhaps what we need to do is prioritize um, finding somebody who's a. Uh, uh, we could another, see. We could see whether it's magical. Uh, or, or uh, I don't know, maybe that's what I was trying to ascertain. You know but, what's, uh... you know what's a good idea? Splitting the party. Scathis, Darje, and Siora do the stakeout mission. <laughs> Zuxus, Thicket, and Senex go uh, try and find out the the stuff. Because we also get our our friend, the the blonde lady. She's going to help us stake out Sham. Aljara, yeah, she did say she would. Well. I think uh, splitting splitting the party at this stage might be uh, against our interests. I don't like splitting parties. Also, consider what we're up against. Yes. I mean, we were we fought a defiler who could summon a demon yesterday, or whatever that was. Yeah, I don't know about facing any particular thing without the full party. Uh, what could go wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. It'll be fine. Anyway, so, please I decide. I suggest we, 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 we just get on with it. Um, Senex can use his powers, he just has to limit it to his use. Uh, and as do we anyway, as well. So I think this is what we should be doing. At least today. Yes. And yeah. tomorrow is another day. And when we're on, on route to try and catch up with... Uh, with the caravan, this is when we can actually give it a, give it a try uh, to see whether yeah. our uh, methods work. Yeah, this is what I would suggest. But uh, also, okay. can I can I source some Agafari clubs in this? Uh, we re I got those too. Oh, you got those? You, you put them on the shopping list, remember? Yes. Yeah, oh, the whole shopping list that was what we we discussed. Okay, I wasn't in the sure game. if you got those. All Sorry. of it. Yeah. Okay. And I'm I'm presuming that I need to get one and you need to get one, right? Yes, and I also want to source a very small warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> I could also send the caravan a message when we're ready to go. Could I whittle a a small warhammer during the night? Will it be worth the gold? Uh, the, the ceramic pieces it needs to be worth. Oh God, yeah, that's right. Because you said that last time. Damn it, Janet. Um, where was it? Right, let's stay focused, please. What exactly are we yes. are we are, are we uh, focusing on here? I'm I'm just trying to make sure I have the spell component for my spell, which I'm hoping to be able to use. You know, um, a twenty a twenty ceramic pieces worth a, a model. So. I, I don't know. There's somebody in town who can local uh, smithy. A local smithy. If you, if you just if you just say I'm spending twenty ceramic pieces, that's fine. You'll have it. Okay. Okay. Good. I will spend twenty ceramic pieces that I don't currently have. I will uh, give you twenty have... <laughs> ceramic pieces. Okay. Y'all going... owe me. Okay. Thank you. Walking over ne nearly four hundred okay. ceramics for y'all. I come back and really, still no really one excited. Thank you. Still no thank yous. I just said thank you. Thank you, th thank you, Thicket. <laughs> Siora, thank you. He pats her on the shoulder. 
Thank you, Siora. I high five her kneecap. Um, did, I, did I just win something there? No, 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 no that was me testing. No, they were, those were just a test. Those were just a test. Damn it. Okay, right. Um, so you're going to start by Aljara's uh, stall then? Yes, I believe so. Let her know that we're gonna gonna check out um, Shum's uh, secret distribution center. Um, I mean, really, I I just want to find Lala. I shall be completely honest with you. I couldn't care less about the Beatles right now. I must have my vengeance. <laughs> Uh, okay, so just to refresh you as to uh, as to who Aljara is, she's in the wrong folder. Stupid bloody Aljara. Um, there she is. Um, the half elf nods at your approach, glances down toward you, Darje. That's uh, cocking ahead at the uh, the new arrival. I see our numbers swell. You have the location, then? We do. And this is our full party. We were just missing some previously. I think we are ready to stake out how Shom... Remember where I told you the mall's, uh, the mall's uh, intel? Yes. Yes, just off Silk Street. She looks over toward you again, Darjay. Just to be clear, what's mine is mine. All right? I know what you're kind of like. Keep a little pause out of my pouches. Darje has no idea what you could possibly be referring to, but this is acceptable. Uh, uh, well, Aljara is pleased to meet Darje. Okay. Um, so we'll uh, need the larger um, overlay for this bit, Word. mate. <laughs> also, thank you, Blink, for the two D6s. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Senex or Jade, sorry. Please roll. <laughs> oh. oh, there's a tie there. Oh, no, wait, there isn't. <laughs> Hey, how, did the DM, how did the DM? How did the DM twice? I won twice. Won twice. No, the, D, the DM <laughs> shouldn't be allowed one. I I, I rolled the second time for uh, for the draw between Senex and Scathis. <clears throat> so the DM and Senex get one. Rubbish. Sorry, there seems oh, wait. there seems Thank to be some bullshit. sort of uh, <laughs> like delay wait. between. Doing it. But it says, but Senex didn't win. He didn't know. The first roll, the DM, yeah, and then the Senex, DM. and then Senex and Scathis drew. Yeah, so no, I, 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 I thought we roll. I uh, thought we were rolling twice. I, I was muted at the time, so oh, we could do twice. It doesn't really matter. But I just think it's easier just to do one instead of spamming so much. I don't care what you do because I won yeah. the first one. Thank you very, very much, Blink. You're a very <laughs> valued viewer. <clears throat> I only that rolled again standard. because Senex and Scathis drew. And then the second roll was Senex 9, Scathis Oh, four. right. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Sorry, I was muted. I was Things going on in the background. Plus, I tried to work out why there's a, a delay. <clears throat> yeah, I was getting lag as well. I'm, so I'm going to... No, not that delay. I'm going to use those in uh, use that in anger very very quickly. Right, so um, this this large black blocked out area um, represents the interior of the, um, the, of the not at all suspicious uh, looking. <laughs> looking location. Yeah, yeah, we don't yes. uh, we don't know what that is. Right, so um, yeah, pop yourselves on the. I'm going to just actually zoom out a little bit here for myself. Um, uh, and we were told that it was just the entrance here, right, of the of the complex. So th this here is essentially, this is Rydisha, who is a, a trader in glassware. Um, and effectively, you've got it. It's, you can see this much from the outside. This picture doesn't show it very well. This part over here, can you see this ping? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Um, that is the shop itself. 
This next block over here is the um, the workshop, where presumably the glassware is put together. This area here is a courtyard. These large doors here, you can just see through them into what must be uh, some kind of garden. And this on the end here would appear to be Radicia's house. Okay. I was told that the secret entrance is in her bedroom and was it the storeroom? They said in one of the bedrooms and in the storeroom, and there's another one in the alleyway somewhere else. But he doesn't know where it is. Exactly, but Yarnak didn't gotcha. know where that was. Um, and let's drag Aljara over. Well, can't we uh, have a snip about for that? I think that's a very wise idea to do mm. a, a proper uh, um, a sneaky uh, review. So th those that can actually do that should be doing that. Yeah. And the other ones should stay good. out of sight. <laughs> I'm pretty good at stealth and hiding in shadow. Mm -hmm. That's I'll great. be over here. <laughs> I'll also be uh, some, we're out of sight, trying to hide in shadows. Okay, well, you're you're actually off the map there, Carl, so you, you plummet into a, a giant black void and die. Oh, well, that's good shadows then to hide in then, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's really good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um. So I will presume that it's during uh, during the day or the next evening. Which do you, which would you prefer? Early morning, six a.m. Right. So so the place isn't even opened yet. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know when the good time. Yeah, is. It's, sure. as good, it's as good a time as any. Good as any. Oh, you know. Okay. Right. right. All right, so um, there's almost nobody on the street. On Arena's Way is the uh, the large road that runs down toward the, the center of Alterook and the main market. Silk Street and Potter's Alley run around the outside of the building. Um, there's a couple of people moving their way down toward the marketplace, um, but at the moment there's no significant numbers of passers-by on, uh, on the outside of the building. So you could, if you wanted to, See, Darjay is defining the laws of physics there by standing on a cross between the squares. Oh. That's actually not not possible in the universe. Um, so, but I'm doing you, it. You, you can't. No, you can't. But I, I will. I was. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, you have a number of uh, a, num a number of possible uh, possible entrances here. This 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 door here would appear to lead into a garden. Um, this likewise leads into a central courtyard. Uh, this one leads into the warehouse, into the workshop. Sorry, same at the back, and this is, as it were, the um, the front door of the shop. This would appear to lead into the house itself, and this is the uh, the back side of the courtyard. So, where were the entrances again? There, there was, was a secret one in the alleyway. Yes. This is, there's, there's, there's one outside somewhere, and there's one somewhere in the house side over here. And somewhere in a storeroom, presumably in the workshop, somewhere over, over here. In the alleyways. Yeah, somewhere. Has the music stopped, or is it me? It's just quiet. Okay. Where where should we start looking? I suggest we do first a quick uh, a quick scan in the alleyway, see whether we can pick it, pick up on it. Uh, yeah. Um, and then report back, and then we make a decision. I could use um, find traps, find remove traps for that, right? No, it's it'll be a, it'll be a d6 roll. But I need you to just I want you to oh. ping, ping to me where it is you're actually looking. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have a look in in this area over here. I think. Okay. Is anyone coming with me? Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll happily do it. I rolled to hide in shadows, and I believe I passed. You did, yes. So I will, yeah, I will, I will sculpt, uh, uh, sneak um, we, about. We, we will wait for you <laughs> to come back to us. Yeah. Okay, um, Darje and uh, Siora, you pad down Potter's Alley uh, between the edge of Radicia's house and the adjoining building. Um, there's no windows on the outside of the of the house itself. Uh, Darje, likewise, you're, I see from that roll, you're hidden in shadows, yep. um, and you snoop around through the alley itself, and you can see some piles of refuse that have been left out for collection, and there's the shuffling of some rubbish slugs from inside, um, but a cursory search... Some of the... what? 
rubbish slugs. Okay. <laughs> um, but a cursory search reveals uh, um, the presence of um, of, uh, of no secret doors and no hidden 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 passageways there. Mm. But it takes about ten minutes to to, to search for that. Uh, you can at this point start to hear noise from inside the building. From whereabouts? Uh, coming from here, actually, it's actually just on the other side of that doorway where you're snooping around. I mean, it sounds like pots and pans clattering around. Right. Are there any, like, windows? No, where you're standing, um, you're, you can see the, 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 the doors just to the south of you. Those double doors are actually gates. And beyond, you can see uh, the lush grass and greenery and trees of uh, 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 a garden courtyard. Um, you can take a closer look by peeking through the gate if you want, but um, that's that's what you spot uh, immediately, at least, just kind of as you as you walk past between the mm -hmm. slats, as it were, of the uh, of the gate. Gotcha. So that that's part of alley is the only alleyway. Um, it, it's, yeah, I mean. Because uh, would this not be also an alleyway or this part? Silk Street, there's a, there's actually, a, there's actually buildings running along the top there. They're just not shown on the map. Okay. So technically the whole surrounding besides the arena way is probably considered an alleyway. Uh, yes. All right. So I, I will just be looking along this whole, you know, area patrolling the, the, looking for we're looking for an entrance but i'm okay. looking against the walls but i'm also looking against the floor in case there's like a hatch or like i guess like in in yeah a I'd sewer grate you know mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah exactly um so you think there are sewers uh you can see what appears to be a hatchway a little bit over there um, but it's largely kind of filled in and somewhat collapsed each search takes another 10 minutes by the way um you find nothing along the edges of silk street um up up into about the the midpoint of the building there you work your air on the far side and see from from that leap across the map oh yeah i'm oh I'm yeah with... yes yeah okay all right Traffic both down. doing it does that half the time it takes Oh, uh, no, it just means you're able to cover um, the, the full area. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, in that small, nameless alleyway there, you're going to do another search? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, no, nothing there. Um, traffic is now increasing along Arena Way. Uh, there's people coming, coming in and out of the buildings around, um, moving um, barrows of goods down toward uh, toward the market. Your companions are kind of loitering around, uh, trying to look inconspicuous. Oh, she needs a hit point total. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> okay, so we haven't been able to find the secret entrance. No. Okay. 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 Should we? That's not good if we do that tonight. We'll, uh, we'll report <laughs> back to the group. Okay. Um. I think we're just going to have to... Let's go in. Head in. Um, we have to do it stealthily, not to cause too much of a ruckus. We could do it stealthily. I suggest um, we, 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 we stay out of the shop. We just go into the house. And try. Or, if there are some that don't seem recognisable to House Sham, they could distract the owner in the shop while some of us more stealthy get inside. But I'm unsure how many. They know who you look like. You think it's the same ones? Sure. How many more operatives do you think they have in there? They had everybody out there gunning for us when we <laughs> when we arrived at Alterook. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to run the risk. I think we should get no. into the into one of these places, make a choice. Yeah. And, and try and contain the knowledge that we're there within that area that we go in. So the, no shop's, the, the shop's going to open before long, Aljara says, and then we will have citizens to deal with as well. Yeah. And I don't think Harris Fist and Lees will want us... Uh... Exactly. All right, let's just, let's just head in. In the house, right? Mm-hmm, yep. Because there was an entrance in the house, she said, in the bedroom. 
But Dodge heard voices coming from the house, or not voices, but noise. Yes. So we will encounter someone. Yes, they will encounter our our poisons and our and our blades. Right? And they try to kill us. We're killing them. Yes. Okay. Um, Darje is going to go back to this door. Are we sure that whoever's inside is guilty? This no. is a house Shum hideout. It is used for that purpose. It is called guilt by association. Carry on looking. Um, can he just listen in um, at the door to hear, hear if there's still movement coming from inside or anything? Uh, yeah, do you have hear noise? I do, detect yeah. Detect okay, noise. Make me, make me a detect noise roll, please. Okay, one second. This is to hear what, to, to get more specifics other than just kind of clattering sounds. Yeah. Detect noise. Ooh, okay, close. Um, you can hear the sound of what sounds like someone uh, preparing a meal or finishing preparing a meal, um, and voices calling back and forward, a man and a woman. Um, you just missed it by 2%, uh, so you can't hear the specific specifics of it there. Um, but it sounds like a man and a woman. Um, I would like to give Darjay my D6. Oh, to do it again? No, to, to ro roll a d6 and see if you can take two off of it. Yeah, if don't, that's allowed. Don't roll a one. Okay, okay, here it comes. Don't roll a one. Anything but a one. Yes! Hey. Okay, cool, yeah. Um, so you just kind of cock your head carefully to the door. Um... A man is calling out, um, Bashara, one, one Odlu egg or two. I've, I've put the peppers on them, the, the spicy ones that you like. Bashar, Bashara. And then a, a woman's voice, Ritisha, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just getting, yes, fine, two, two. And, and hurry up, please. We need to be open in 20 minutes. Okay. Well worth a D6. Very yeah, so worth it. <laughs> Rydisha, that's the name of the person who owns the shop, and that identified now as a, as, a, as a male, and Vashara. Do we have any ingestible poisons? Did, did we come across the name Vashara before? Vashara? It sounds somewhat familiar, doesn't it? Somehow, yeah. Um, no, I don't have any ingestible poisons. I think Thick it does have a point though that do these people even know that there is a hideout here? But who knows? They must. It's in a bedroom. Exactly. They're also letting presumably Lalaresh stay here. It's a cover. It is a Maybe. house it's a house shom operation and we need to shut it down. This is what we promised Hirodias. That's it. Okay. There's no more, no less. They gotta go. Let's go then. Can Darje sneak in through that back door without being detected? Ping the door? The one that he's stood in front of? I. Uh, if it's unlocked, it'll take a move silently roll. If it's locked, it'll take an open locks and then a move silently roll. Ah. Uh, is it locked? Okay, kind of get your eye down and look through the crack. Um, just in time to see a man walk through an adjoining door into the next room. Uh, you think it is indeed locked. Okay, but he's just left the kitchen he's area. He's just left, just... exactly. It looks like a kitchen in there, yeah. So I can open locks without having to move silently? Yes. He's not in earshot anymore. Correct. So yes. I'm just going to try and open this lock then. Okay, go ahead. Uh, 
Uh, right, open locks, armor, yes. Ooh, nice. Nicely done. Okay, the door swings smoothly open. Dajie has learned. Dajie has learned. I'm so proud of him. Uh, and there we go. Yay. It is indeed... A kitchen. You see jars and urns containing foodstuffs lining the walls of the kitchen, and there's a small stove uh, with the re redolent aroma of recently fried and slightly spiced Erdlu eggs. Mm. Okay, and you can probably just see—you can just see the edge of the man's token <laughs> sticking out through yeah, the door. Yeah, <laughs> I see that. Yeah, so hear, I wonder you, which room he's gone into. You can hear his voice literally from the other side of the door, just making small talk um, over breakfast about how much how much glassware they have to move today. Okay. Um, yeah, really quite innocuous. So, uh, is everyone at this point following in, or is it just me and Siora? They do, the others don't know what you've done. I mean, hopefully we can. I mean, is there, like, I can I can go around the corner and kind of, you know, gesture. Okay. A wave back. No. <laughs> <laughs> Head down there. Okay, you creep along Potter's Alley. Oh, we're all we're all doing this. Okay. <laughs> We're all sneaking. can only be bad. They're sneaking. None of you. None of the rest of you are sneaking. I, I can okay. try and sneak a little bit, can't I? Not on your own. We don't. We don't need to sneak until we're going uh, in the house. Only really. on your own is what I, is what I mean. Oh, Halflings okay. are only stealthy when they're with other halflings. Zuxis uh, could try, but I don't think she's going to bother. She's just no. going to walk in and try not to, uh, to draw too much attention to herself. I cast is... pass without trace. <laughs> Here's what I, uh, I think Darje is going to go, he's going to enter the room, and he's going to go to this door. Because the, the reason why we're here is because we're trying to find a secret entrance, right? Yes. Yeah. Good, so good I'm point. going in there, and I'm going to try that door. I'm going to, uh um... it's, not, it's not locked. Okay. Is it trapped? We have to find traps on it first. Let me see. You're inside their house, I'm presuming it probably well, isn't. Well, what if this is the door to the thing? You know, well, enough, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell yeah. anyway, so I it, open the door. It's not trapped. You discover the kitchen cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> How could they do this? No. <laughs> okay. Only one man would dare give me kitchen cupboard. Lone Stark. <laughs> <laughs> At door number two. What, what's in the kitchen cupboard anyway? Just briefly yeah. have a nose in. What's in there? Is there a secret passageway? Kitchens. Uh, is this one locked? Uh, that is not locked. And you can actually, um, s through the uh, the, the cracks in the door, see that that leads into some kind of internal garden. Huh. Okay. I'm going to go through it. Okay. Wonder if we could lock them in the dining room. <laughs> um, Five murder dobermans in there. I'm gonna lead these guys around the maple. Okay, move you guys through, and then um, we'll discuss uh, your interaction with the two gentlemen you discovered. No, I'm um, hidden, bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the door the door will have to open for you to come through. Yeah, but then, and then like, I, I make the sound of the breeze. Breeze. I'm wind. like, exactly. Okay. So, um, roll me a d10. <laughs> And yeah. that determines whether you get surprise or not. Oh my god. I mean, can you get surprised when you're expecting attack? Right, so, no surprise. Okay? Okay. Um, what for you, it's like, a, it's, you have quite a lot of surprise ability being a, um, a chameleon assassin, but a, a nine, absolutely not. No, so, the door opens, 
Um, and even as you as you slide through, um, two guards standing there um, in quite clear in Shom livery spin in your direction. One of them looks in surprise. They can't see you because you quite literally kind of come through either hiding in shadows or blended against the wall. Yeah. Um, one of them strides over and uh, unfortunately um, spots Tsuks is standing in the kitchen. Siora likewise is still hidden. I, I'm h- hiding as well. Can I make a roll? A uh, bit, bit late for that. Okay. Are if he le- walks past me, can I uh, backstab him? Yeah, so um, he walks right... Um, put yourself in the garden, please, uh, Dar Jason, as you did say you're going outside. Yes. Uh, right. he's, he strides over, pulling a weapon, and is in, 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 r- r- literally about to say something on the lines of, Who the hell are you? When, um... I would like to do the backstab. Is that just double damage? Oh! It'll, tri- it'll be triple damage if you hit. Uh, and his armor class is 15. So that first strike with the, uh, the, the widow's uh, knife um, is going to be a triple damage strike. And there's that natural 20. Oh, nice. So. So that would six. be. Do I, do I, okay, so six, and then it's max damage, right? For. So let me, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to that in a second because there's a rule that Sorry. we haven't, haven't been applying fully yet. So let's do the, the, the backstab first. Triple damage, six. Uh, any bonuses to that? I don't know if. Is nope. is there anything I can do with that? You don't have a strength uh, bonus, do you? No. I mean, I've got a strength 14. Is, yeah. So there is. There's a plus one for strength 14. So he loses seven hit points. Um, yeah, so you appear out of the shadows behind him. Stab him. Now, that natural 20, because it's a bone weapon, we've, I've, we, I've been holding off on this rule um, just to get everyone comfortable with things again. Because um, it's a bone weapon, if you deal the maximum damage, the weapon will break. Otherwise, you roll for it. I don't want to break my widow's blade. Well, so then, you, then you roll for it. Yeah. Then you then you roll. So that's four. Uh, that's one. But plus one Only. because of my strength, right? But, but minus one because of bone. Ah. Uh. That's why the one isn't being added, I'm seeing now. Okay, yeah, so a single point of damage. Um, he doesn't uh, do anything towards you, Suxis, um, but immediately spins around um, to face Yora and uh, shouts, Intruder! Um, you hear a yell coming from somewhere in here. And this guy down here, uh, he... These guys all need more hit points, sorry. Let, let, let me know when I can shoot something, um, Mark. Yep. Uh, yeah, let me know when I can backstab him. And he's uh, this guy breaks into a run toward the door. Okay, so what I'm going to want is... Let me just make sure the initiative tracker is clear. Removal turns, clear. Anybody who wants to act can... Uh, can roll for initiative. Well, you managed two room, one room and a cupboard before the shit hit the fan there, guys. That's it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty good. It's not bad. Oh, Jay got cocky. I'm just going to walk in this one. Uh, what else <laughs> am I supposed to do? <laughs> just, uh, you know what? I'm not going to walk in the room. <laughs> yeah. Let it gonna, come to me. We're going to raid the cupboard and then leave. Mm-hmm. Could have just hid in the cupboard. We got the spices. <laughs> <laughs> Scram. <laughs> yeah. Oh, spell components. Um, okay. I'm mute. Good gracious, Carl, would you just stop it with the maximum virtual initiative rolls? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. you, my rolls are shit. <laughs> they really, really are. I'm not making it up. <laughs> okay. Um, s- <laughs> Siora and the Shrom guards, um, both on six. I, was... <sighs> I see you're already hey. rolling there. Yep. So armor class. Uh... What did I say? 15? Yeah, 15. So yep. two of those are hits. All right. Um, so the prong and the widow's knife are both hits. So that is seven damage. 
Yeah, okay, so that kills kills him. Yeah, yeah. Um, Both of them them together, and down he goes. Um, Then can I hide in shadows? Because no one can see me currently. Yes, you can. You had a family, two kids. Oh, I don't care. A guy walks in, looks at corpse, (laughs) sees no one. Must have been the wind. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Well, I failed my hide and shadows oh, roll, so he does see me. Sadly. Oh, okay, right. Uh... Need to change these so they're not to just the GM, but they're just public. Yeah. I think you can, can't you? Mine does the same though, I, and I don't know how to change it. Okay. That um. So. Code. It is right. So this guard runs over. Um, comes charging in, sees the body on the floor, um, sees no sign, obviously, of, uh, of Darjay. Um, Suri, you have um, slid back into the shadows, cupboard, I don't know, hiding behind the jam. <laughs> you failed. Um, you failed. I failed my role. Fa- oh, you failed? Oh, okay, well, then, then, then I... <laughs> I have you now, he says. And, uh... It's like in Burn After Reading. Uh, yeah and he stabs with his bone blade striking armor class 11 which i'm almost certain is a miss for siora yes it is yeah so uh I, I move slightly to the side as he stabs the spices. Indeed. And um... okay, yes. So he stabs, stabs for you, smashes some jam jars, curses, and uh... then we are onto Rydisha. Um This gentleman strides out of here, sees the guard and uh, Siora locked in combat. Um, looks spots uh, Zuxis standing right next to him and immediately backs through the door and slams it shut. Senex. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nope. You're in the yes. No. <laughs> nope. I will run in and stab him in the back. Okay. Honey, there's a murder lizard in the kitchen again. <laughs> 17 to hit. Murder oh, hit. Sam, the murder lizard. Uh, damage. Oh. Man. Three damage. Good well shot. Oh, no. oh, oh, sorry about that. And I run back out again. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't get up. Okay. Um, his uh, blood splashes around as uh, you right, uh, appear behind him, stab him, and uh, back out rapidly again. Uh, Dodge A. Oh, baby. It's time. He runs to the doorway yeah. and takes out his crossbow, short bow even, mm-hmm. and with a, doll, uh, a, doll, a dose of Mulgrim slime on his arrows, he will attempt a ranged backstab. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So, let me hit. From behind, this is going to be uh, armor class 11. Shot! Okay! I have two shots. You indeed have two shots. Uh, Only the first one's a backstab, though, but yes. And they both both hit. Yep. Okay. So so first off is going to be triple damage. Um, How much is bone arrows? Is it 1d6? It's d6, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So triple damage. So this is the the, first one. There should be an entry on your your sheet for him. And he needs to just save. Otherwise, and if he fails, he takes 20 damage anyway. Oh, it's, it's, it's say die, is it? It's okay. eighteen, eighteen for just the shot alone. Yeah. So eighteen from the shot. If you okay. if he fails, it's still twenty. <laughs> like he dies. <laughs> he did. Yeah. So I, I don't have another enemy to shoot that second shot at. You do not. So hold it. So, so hold we'll, it. We'll, yeah, we'll hold that one. Okay. okay. Nice. Good. Okay. Uh, kind of look around as the body on your feet kind of collapses. There's just like froth coming out of the corpse's mouth as the poison makes its way through the uh, through the body's uh, system. At the same time, Thicket, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just going to keep an eye out for trouble coming from the street. Yep. So if anybody... I'm just going <laughs> to kind of be on lookout, I guess. Just like on patrol. 
Yeah, the the, uh, the the attacks are coming so rapidly and so brutally that no one is getting any chances to uh, to have uh, alarm spread beyond the immediacy of Rudisha's house. Mm -hmm. Scathis. Scathis listens to hear if there's any further sounds of uh, commotion, and when it falls silent, he's yeah, he'll just join Thicket, uh, being lookout. Okay, well, it, it, it doesn't fall silent immediately. You hear the sound of what sounds like doors or gates or something opening and closing from inside the house, running feet. Is anybody leaving th uh, out onto Arena Way? No. Okay. Okay, so does it sound like more guards are coming from inside the house? It absolutely okay. does, yes. Uh, Scathis is, is going to go inside, better or worse. Okay. So just, just pop yourself inside. Snooksis points at the door, but that's just closed in front of her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Georgie's <laughs> next move. <laughs> what is going on in here? <laughs> it's like body. Follow Dodge. It's time for me to kill. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, end of round then, Zuxis. <clears throat> oh, uh, Zuxis uh, walks uh, one step ahead, kicks in the <laughs> door, and shoots whatever is behind the door. Okay, right. Um, let me just reveal that for you. Um, One ranger shit right there. Three well, lizards walk into a room. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing else walks out. There's a joke yeah. in somewhere. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's Radishia and Vishara. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah oh, they're, they're like, nicely lined up. Maybe I can get both of them in one shot. Yeah, there's a little table between them where they were clearly having like fried eggs and a bit of a bit of uh, a bit of um, cigarette bacon and there's a whole little thing. There's some orange, cares? orange juice. And... I love that they're still sitting down eating breakfast, even though there's like the sounds of combat in the next <laughs> yeah, room. Yeah. And he's even yeah. walked in and shut the door. They and he were sat back down again. The, all, so... I, yeah. all I said was there's a table between them. <laughs> yeah. you, you add whatever extra extra details your imagination demands. I'm just so sorry to, to break up this bucolic picnic, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's armor class 11. I, I just really love the idea of him just sitting down again and be like, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not again. Not again. <laughs> Eat your eggs, darling. There, uh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, there nice. we go. Hit, yep. Swock. Yep. Okay. Give me damage against Radisha as yes. you impale him with a crossbow over his breakfast table. Mm -hmm. We're so nice. Should, yeah. Should have should have picked a different place to live. <laughs> well, so this see. is like a glass like company. Like we could take their like money and like. Oh wait, wait, wait. Quarrels are here. Sorry. Oh. Uh, yeah. Bang. Six. Six. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Um, the crossbow bolt catches him in the shoulder, and he pitches sideways backwards over the table, um, shattering the, 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 the glasses, uh, egg yolk, orange juice, the little thing of flowers that um, Vishara had put up over their breakfast table, goes spraying across the room. He's like across the table, <laughs> crossbow bolt sticking out of his shoulders, ah, ah, screams and, and yells. And She's, I uh, step back again. Was like, ah, um, my other, I was just wondering, the other shot that I didn't shoot, can I shoot that now? Yeah, sure. Or is it? Oh, okay. No, yeah, it's the same round. Yep. I shoot him. We're home wreckers. That's what we are. <laughs> I come. Uh, I dart between Zuxus's legs. <laughs> <laughs> she steps and back I, and lets you go. Between I slide out. Legs. <laughs> yeah. And uh, attacky. Yeah, arm class. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. So that's max damage, yes? That's max damage, yeah. And, right. Uh, and it's poisoned. Yeah. And it's poisoned, yes. So, uh, and it's going to do minimum 20 points of damage. Minimum. Okay, so the arrow itself um, buries itself deep in his midriff. Um, he pulls it loose, but at the same time, his hand begins to shake, and there's all this kind of a horrible yellowish fluid coming out of the wound, and then <coughs> coughs up a frothing mouthful of venom, slumps sideways on the floor, leg <laughs> juddering on the floor, dead. And then Darje turns to the woman. Where is the hideout? She's kind of against the wall, staring down at her dead husband, the tears streaking at her cheek, just screaming. Well, he hisses. He hisses at her. Over and over and over again. Next okay. door, you're in a wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> um, the hideout, or you are next. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, Darje... You can make me an intimidation check next round as part of your action for that. Um, she is flipping. Where do I the do that from? 
It's uh, you have a proficiency. She is flipping the shit out right now, unfortunately. Oh yes, I do. You do. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, let's have initiative, one... everyone, please. It's another one of those. Are we the baddies? We've yeah. done that already. You are. <laughs> we know you are. <laughs> Every single session. <laughs> My god, I'm just gonna use my spear. It's like I roll ones for my spear. I do like Have you have you seen my roll, uh, Mark? I'm just saying to telling you. Have you done it again? Twenty better. <laughs> I've improved on it. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, dude? I have no idea. I have no idea. It's haunting me. <laughs> Sorry, I rolled Max as well. Oh wow. Okay, uh, right, Darje, yeah, you're up, you're up first. Yes. Intimidation? Yeah, just roll the prof check. And you can have a, like, a plus four bonus for murdering her husband in front of okay. her. Okay. Do I win? So, uh, yeah, you need to make the roll. Oh, you've you done it there. I see it. Okay, I didn't see it. Okay, right. Um, what, what is it you say to her again? Uh, I ask her um, where the hideout is, or oh, she's next. She's... <laughs> <laughs> and she points to the corner of the room. There's, there's just a rug there. Okay, I, I nod to Scathis. I've got my uh, short bow still just trained on her. Yeah, okay, right. Uh, Senex. I, uh, I can move in and remove the rug. Okay, so uh, at this point, right there, yeah, right where you're standing, you pull the rug back and there's a trapdoor on the floor leading down. Don't mind me, madam. Um, Excuse me? <laughs> I looked up to her, so any other guards in here? Need <laughs> uh, to learn that language. I don't speak, uh, I don't speak whale. Uh... <clears throat> I open the trap door, but be careful not to look down. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't take an arrow. Could have yeah. me. Mm. Could have been an adventurer. Okay, just one moment, please. I just have to see who's in that room. Uh... Okay, good. So you pull the trapdoor back. Um, no arrows, uh, braxats, or other impediments come come hurtling out of the uh, out of the hole. She drops to her knees uh, next to Radisha's body, like hands reaching out as if she wants to touch him, shaking. She can't can't bring herself to touch his corpse. Thicket. I walk into the kitchen and see if there's any food. There's lots of it. Yes. I um. There's some I recently just... recently baked bread that was obviously being made for like to, uh, to accompany the meal in the in the in the adjoining room. I'll I'll stash some, and I'll I'll, I'll wipe <laughs> wipe some in the in the pan, with the, that has Ooh, the egg juices. Mm, oh oh yeah, yeah. lovely. Yeah. Mm, 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 they seem to be doing quite all right without my we, help. So. We have, <laughs> like, you have <laughs> corrupted thicket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you you barely even registered the bodies on the kitchen. I've had breakfast yet. <laughs> yeah, there are like two dead guys in there. Siora. Um, I will head through here, up through here, um, and I will hold my widow's blade to her throat and will say, Nothing, apparently. Oh. <laughs> Is that <a> test? <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> How to leave it with a cliffhanger. <laughs> Whoa. I think they both froze. Yeah, yeah. they have. Yeah, yeah. yeah they they're the lost connection. Ah, oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> we will never I, know. Like, Come on, tell us! <laughs> <laughs> and I say... <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I really thought she was just taking her time. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, internet dropped. Oh, dear. Perfect timing. But we want to know what you said. Uh, I love it. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, we're going to hold on her and uh, move to the Shom guards. Who are... 
Well, that's not fair, is it? That isn't <laughs> yeah. fair. Yeah, I want to know what she said. <laughs> well, they don't know where she is. They're not coming through that door. Yeah, I figured that's... Yeah, she said she was going to ask her where Lala Rash is. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, what does she say? Well, you know what? Panda has just suggested a quick break to let them reconnect. And we've been it's been a uh, Brandy's, half in. Brandy's a oh. cr- cr- uh, going to ready. So. Well, I'm using... I've I've flipped my cell phone over to a hotspot. Uh, uh, to <laughs> <laughs> Suggested right. she do the same. I'm not sure if she heard me. Okay. No, no. We'll 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 stick with it. We'll take a break in a minute. Let's let's resolve this particular little little thing right now. Um. So yeah. So uh, unless Panda wants to say it herself, I will assume that um, Sior screams or or hisses or growls or whatever. Or, you know where the hell is Lala Ash? Um. And uh, Vashara holding her, her fear in check, points down toward the trap door. Yeah. Okay. And at that moment, um, coming from the garden, uh, two Shom guards race into the back of the kitchen. Um, one hurls himself at Scathis, and the other attempts to murder the egg-stealing bastard thicket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you pay for that egg juice? He says. <laughs> no. He probably doesn't say that, but <laughs> it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be pretty cool if we did. Um, Thicket, that's an attack against you. Hits armor class 19. That is a hit. Well, uh, And Thicket, you take three damage from a slash with his bone sword, leaving you on 31 hit points. Um, Scathis, your AC is currently 20. The other guard stabs for you with his bone blade. A savage lunge, which actually manages to hit just. And for you, that is, again, three damage. Good coordination on their part, I think. Yeah, they've done well. And now they die. Oh, you're back. Panda, that was the most amazing timing. You're like, and then I say, and then you freeze. I was like, literally so right there. <laughs> the rest of us are like, so what? What did you say? Tell it us! Took me, it took me a few seconds to realize you weren't doing it for a dramatic purpose. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I hold the blade up to her throat and I say, Where is Lala Resh? Uh, That's what I wanted to say. No, how so, it ended was better. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice you had frozen until I looked over at Grendy and he was also just like. <laughs> I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, she is in, in response to your threat. She is pointing down at the um, at the trapdoor. Oh, wonderful! Okay, and two more guards arrive in the garden. Um, they've used their actions to get there, so they don't actually get to take any attacks. And Scathis. Oh dear! Let the murder begin. All right. Uh, let's see, he's been waiting Get for this. Stabby. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta reload roll twenty real quick. Sorry. That's cool. There'll be a, a, a present, a pleasant close up of Scathis's face, and uh, as you sh- draw your, uh, your he tests his new mandible sword with yeah. a grin on his face. <laughs> this one, this one has been made from the uh, from the mandibles of an antloid. Very I have, nice. I have a nice accompanying poison for that one. So it's spiky. Absolutely hit these guards, as I said, are only armor class 15. So, yes, he has, he has been struck. <laughs> Killed outright with a single blow. Yep. One slash hacks one down, turns to the other. Another sl- follow up slash. Uh, that's just a miss. He just ducks under it as the mandible sword rake back the back swing of the mandible Oh, you said their armor wall. class was what? 15. 15. Fifteen, okay. Yeah, uh, you're not outnumbered, so that's okay. He'll follow up with a bite. Okay. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I was going to do something, but I don't think I'll need to. Whoa, Whoa okay. <laughs> that one. He, he grabs for like the nearest thing, which is like a like a, a, a ceramic pot, and just thrust it into your jaws at the last moment. Your jaws close around the pot and <laughs> fell to uh, like complete panic, grabbing everything he can off the shelves to defend themselves. 
All right, well, failing all else, I'll try a shield bash. Yeah. I kind of picture Thicket handing him things. Here, try this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I won't hit. Happily munching yeah. away at his egg still. <laughs> yeah, no, you think the, the guy has danced back and is like closing the, uh, the cupboard door in front of him as a makeshift shield as uh, Scathis attempts to murder him uh, amidst the condiments. Um, and then about an hour and a half later, success. <clears throat> um, she then twangs him. If uh, Scarthus fails to finish the job, then she will help him along. You're literally yeah. shooting over the top of Thicket's head there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not much of an impediment. <clears throat> shooting him straight through into the into the kitchen cupboard. Yeah. Cool. Uh, roll, roll, roll. Da, da, da. Come on. There. Oh, that's a miss. Okay, uh, one, two, three. Uh, where are we here? Can we can we can we change dice, please? Is that possible? One to two. Uh, okay, new, new that, dice, please. New dice, that, please. That hits thicket. Roll damage, please. Oh, no. Yeah, you don't have that thing that allows you to shoot into melee. No, do you? it's true. I don't. Yeah. Oi! Yep. <laughs> Ow! Yeah. <laughs> In yeah. the back of my head. And it was poisoned. No, it wasn't. <laughs> so I would have mentioned well, it. Well, better not be. Die, 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 die. <laughs> Save or die. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is bad enough. This is what? Here we go. They're quite hefty. Yeah. Seven damage. Okay, yes. That's not great. Sorry. Um, Suk just mistimes the shot, and uh, as the guy tries to dodge sideways, she accidentally follows him as she discharges, and the crossbow quarrel slams into your back thicket, sending you staggering forward. Oh. That's for eating hey. eggy bread. Yes, that will <laughs> fucking teach you that, Will. Best Sorry. eggy bread ever. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, but what about second <laughs> breakfast? <laughs> Okay, let's have initiative, please. From everybody. Everybody. Oh, didn't roll. Quit. Now? You are got to be kidding me. <laughs> Did you roll? Um, look, look, Mark. Look. Again. Twenty again. Yeah, you've done it again. Outstanding. Yeah. Um, obsidian um, panda is one third the cost. Thirty thirty percent of the cost. Pardon? Okay. Obsidian an obsidian weapon is thirty percent thirty percent of the cost of the of the normal weapon. So if it's actually so if the if the if the if the, the weapon was ten gold pieces ten ceramic pieces an obsidian version will cost three. answer to your question about how much are obsidian widow's blades okay sorry uh my brain still doesn't know because i don't know how much they cost regularly for bone. Uh, okay <laughs> widow, uh, uh, all right we don't have to do this right now it's okay fine <laughs> okay um don Jay. um yes the so the trap door no no one's come out of it yet no um yeah. Am I still hidden or not? I can't remember. You are not because you um you shot somebody with your bow. Okay, can I hide and then move down into Absolutely, yes. The yeah, yeah. Word yeah, business? sure. Okay, I'm going to try that first then. Um hide in shadows. Ooh, oh. I think that's a fail, right? That is a fail, yes. Okay. So are you still moving down? Um No, I'm I'm going to 
instead I'm going to, because we, you know, no one's going to leave without us seeing them. I'm going to move to this doorway and shoot at these two guys in the courtyard. Yeah, okay, so that door, you can push it open quite easily and um, yeah. take shots lean, at them. lean myself against the doorway. Yeah, yeah, unless you use another dose. In fact, you don't have another dose today. No. The the doses you, the, the poison of, that you put on those weapons is used up now. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's fine. It's just normal shots. Cool. Excuse me. Right. Short bow. One, two. So one of those? No, neither. Uh, the second one. Uh, second one, yes. The second one hits because yeah, you get him uh, unawares off the side. Yeah. So that is five damage. <laughs> okay. And can I move afterwards? Yes, you can. Then I will move out back out of their range. Yep, here, okay. Behind the doorway. Gotcha. So he, he And they takes, can't get me. Takes an arrow shot, he kind of spins around just in time to see your little tail <laughs> disappearing out of sight. Okay. Um He is not prevented from moving, however, runs upward and uh stabs at you. And that manages to land a blow with his blade. Dealing you five points of damage as the bone weapon rings across your little purple snout. Um, his companion rushes in past him and immediately engages Senex. Uh, Senex, that is a miss, however. Uh, miss times the blow and it simply ricochets off the wall beside you. At the same time as that, Siora. Okay. Um, I am going to attack the one who is right in front of me. Yeah. Um, and with my Widow's Blades and 19 and 17, they both hit, I think. They do, oh, you yes. Get plus, you get plus the 13 two. 13 would hit as well. Oh, okay, great. Um, so then, let's see, uh, oh wow, great damage, thanks me, uh, that's four, uh, <laughs> damage, Ford, stab him three times and get four damage. Why, why did I choose, I thought Widow's Blades were good. They are, why did they I are, but you need steel. You'll need, uh, you'll need, you need better quality and actually you... When you get to the point where you can take the thing that allows you to add your dex bonus, they'll uh, increase in damage significantly. However, he's already been shot by um, Darjay, and your attacks are enough to kill him. Oh, wonderful. And uh, down he goes. Uh, just let me get put a jar, I'll jar on there. I'll jar, that's rubbish. It's fine. Oh, she's actually next. Nicely done. Okay. Okay, um, Aljara appears here, steps in through the door, having spent the last round or so working her way around, and takes a strike at this guy right here. Stabs. Oh, nice! With a... Okay, and... Deals him a solid blow with a steel long blade that she pulls out from beneath her robes and promptly stabs him with it. Damn. Senex. I miss. You miss. Oh, you stab with your spear and miss. Okay, Scathis. Cupboard man. Still lives. I won't allow for this. Uh, I'm going to swing at him. Yeah. Easy hit. Right. <laughs> Great damage. And, but... and he had he had about seven remaining, and is slain by your by your attack. All right. 
Uh, I'll head in here. I see more guys. <laughs> <laughs> Backslash. More XP opportunities await you. That is a hit, despite the uh, the low roll. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. So twelve damage. It, despite even even where he uninjured, that would have been enough. Uh, and with that, the sound of battle fades away, as only the soft and weeping cries of Ashara sound. Xerxes uh, says to uh, Scarthus in Surin, finish her off, no witnesses, right? He slowly turns his head to her, then turns his gaze back to Xerxes and gives a tense nod. She's just kneeling over the body of her husband, sobbing, barely even aware of the slaughter that now has been made of her bedroom. Bodies lie in various stages of dismemberment all around. He stands over her, putting his uh, shield aside to take the mandible sword with two hands. And while she's kneeling there, he gives a quick downward swing to try and behead her quickly in one, one stroke so she doesn't have to suffer. It's an automatic hit. Just roll me damage. Sura turns her head away. And that's enough. Her head comes away from her body, lies to one side, and for a few moments, tears continue to roll down her cheeks as her horrified eyes blink once or twice before rolling back in her decapitated head. We want to take a break on that wonderful image. Blood congeals on the floor, mixed with egg yolk and other breakfast juices. I the, the, sla the slaughter at Radisha's house has come to, well, an initial conclusion. I believe you had something you wanted to return to, uh, to success, Thicket. Yes, I, I, give her, I pulled the crossbow bolt out of my shoulder and handed it back to her, glower in my eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. That was an accident. And, uh... I... Heal myself. <laughs> I'm going okay. to, um... Position the husband and the wife so that they're sat against the wall next to each other. And I'm just gonna kind of put her head in, his ha in her hands. Just so that they're, like, not just laid about on the floor, like, just kind of trying to respectfully put them so to the side. So that it's all in one place, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like yeah. things together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm not even going to try and attempt to, to assess whether this makes it better or much, much, much worse. I'm just, okay, <laughs> fine, you you do this. Sierra's trying to make it better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. How do I get the blood off? Yeah, all right. Um, so you uh, position the bodies in a uh, res respectful manner. Um, near you, the trapdoor to whatever lies below stands open. Do they have uh, any keys on them or something like that? Or anything important? Yeah, <laughs> plant logic. <laughs> it really is. Um, so, yeah, he does have a, a set of keys on him, yes. Good. Let's take that along. Um quickly have a look in, in the room, anything that we, we need to uh, to find, to take along with us, anything important, anything valuable. 
This appears to have been a comfortable uh, bed chamber slash, uh, slash dining area filled with oh. various art objects and, and small, <clears throat> small tasteful luxuries. Mark, I yes, kill myself yes. with for oh. 11. I rolled there. 11? <clears throat> 11. So you're on 35. I, I don't have 35 hit points. Well, then you explode. <laughs> <laughs> I fill myself up beyond what I'm... Should have <laughs> oh thought, thought of that. My should eye pops out of its socket. <laughs> <laughs> 34, then. Um, Darje is hiding in shadows uh, in order to go down the trapdoor without... In order to proceed down. Yes. Oh, that's uh... a good idea. I copy that. <laughs> Walk this way. Is anyone else injured? If I could walk that way, I wouldn't have... Okay, um... Darje, I yes, fail. You're, su you're successful. Um, sure, you, you, you fail. Can I try again? <laughs> you may go ahead and try again, yes. Alright, sweet. There you go. Okay. And then you, you shimmy down the ladder? Yes. Okay, so... Unless, like, the... The tilde of the shop is right there, and in that case, I'm going to rob it. But no, the, not the, the, yeah, the shop, I shimmy down. The shop area would be through in the in the other section. All right, we'll come back later. Okay, so um, there's one area on the map uh, that's visible. That's the room that you come into. Um, so plop your little. Which door? It's Capital the ladder. Uh, see that, that 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 thing there? That's the ladder that you come down. Huh? The thing that Senex is currently. Yeah, that weird. Oh, I see. Get out the way. Dumbbell little king little thing. That's the matter. I'm not on a square. Stop trying to break the laws of physics. I already did. That is all powerful. All right. And as soon as you arrive down here, you um, immediately are able to make out sounds coming from, where would it be, uh, from this direction down here. Uh, you hear the sound of running feet and uh, someone's voice shouting, Hold it! Hold the doors! No, we're almost out! Hold them! Hold them now! Clear those boxes out of there! Uh, oh, they're trying, to, they're trying to get everything out. We gotta stop them. Mm -hmm. Najee is going to open the door. When we're, he does... we're, under, we're underground now, though, right? You've yeah, you've come down a, a good couple yeah, of stories yeah, yeah. into what you think is was probably once a disused sewer or some kind of storage area. It's gotcha. fitted stone, um, flagstones on the floor, but they're sifting bits of dust and sand every now and then tss, tss, filter down uh, between our ancient petrified beams from somewhere above. Roughly how far down did we travel the ladder? Uh, you think two stories worth, so about 20 okay. feet. Is there any sewer smells? No, there are not. Okay. So what do you guys want to do? You said open the door, which door? Uh, one the one? one that we hear noise coming from behind, but... So, so this one down when, here. When he does, Daje will say, Be ready to rush in. I'll go in first. This is what Dajay was thinking. Okay, so um, position, I, posi I, I position... I hand the keys to the people in front. Position yourselves in the order that you want to go through the door. Dajay, you can assume that anyone can slip past you on account of yeah. you being we. Yeah. Okay. You push the door open. And immediately see the reception party waiting for you. No surprise, you're ready for them, and they're ready for you. Doubtless, no quarter will be given here. Uh, I'm just gonna add a turn for him. Add a turn for him. Um, guys, roll initiative. We are kicking off right away, I see. Ah, oh, come on. Initiative 17? How's that even possible? What are you, Carl? 
actually faster than, and they're slower than me. That's uh, that's commendable. Wow. Okay. All right. So I'm using my longbow. Oh, Aljara. Aljara was not doing great either. She's pretty slow. Um, that Shrom guard doesn't appear to have an initiative rating. Let's roll that again. He just doesn't get a turn. He doesn't get a turn. He doesn't deserve a turn, is what it is. Uh, I see a two, but it's, it's not up to... Oh, he's... Okay, right. There is one on there. Fine, it's doubled up. Okay, fine. Um, I'll ignore the first one. Scathis. All right. Scathis is going to run in shield first. Yeah. Uh, and go for a shield bash on the mool. On the mool commander. Yeah. The prang. Here you go, yes. All right. Uh, his armor class is again only 15. Uh, you slam into him, hitting damage right away, seven points. His head snaps back. Uh, his CMB is fifth. Uh, is that of? Yep. And he goes down right away. Blood spraying from his nose and hits the ground. Runs in shield first, bashes him to the ground, and immediately follows up with mandible swords swinging down at him while he has the chance. Yep, armor class is treated as 11 now when he's on the ground. Yep. Let's go. Ooh. Nice. Does he fall down in the same square or does he get knocked back? No, he doesn't get knocked back. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Two, two hacks of the uh, new mandible sword, 16 damage overall with them. Okay. And. He quivers, coughs, goggles, and is slain outright. And then uh, I'm going to bite one of these Sham guards. Yep. Hit. Be the one directly to my west. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, and then I would like to I've never done this before, Mark, so forgive me if I have to ask some questions. Heroic Surge? Yes, awesome. All right. You do this once per day, right? Yeah, you can once per day. You should probably roar or shout so or me. do a dance or something. Mm -hmm. uh, he will. <laughs> and uh, follows nice. up with another. So I get another action. Is that. Uh, I'm going to check the exact wording for this because I went back and forward on it and then finally okay. settled on something. Um, character classes, warrior, fighter. He's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> it's going it's like an action surge or... <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, additional action, yeah, so uh, that includes, let's say, a full attack routine for you. Wow. Okay. Oh. So he's already he's already bitten that one guy. So narratively, I'm just going to say he keeps his jaws locked on and crunches down again. Uh, okay. Something cool. Follows, another bite attack. Yep. <laughs> you yeah, bite even deeper. Blood spurting around. Ah. Oh. That's a, not a great amount of damage. Uh, he's howling and yelling as the blood burst erupts out of his ragged severed body i'll bash him away from me with the shield yep uh or not or not no okay you yeah you forget to let go with your mouth first and you're just kind of like ah! <laughs> <laughs> yep uh, i'll still swing with the mandel sword yep Solid hit. And yeah, you quite literally tear him in two with that strike. And then lastly, uh, with the other side of the mandible sword, I will turn and swing at the guy to my southeast. Yeah. Ah, oh, he ducks under the blow oh, no. as, the, as the blade kind of... Accidentally rolled damage. It would have been good. <laughs> it would have been good. That's a good, good roll, that. Okay, cool. Um, you might want to move out the doorway as well. Uh, 
Okay, um, Darje, between his legs, you see a significant amount of slaughter, bodies hitting the floor, blood spraying. Um, I have you on the initiative count twice here. In fact, I have various people twice. I got a um, five. You got a five. Go ahead. I'm going to... Uh, you know what, guys? I'm, I'm going to clear this completely. I want you guys all to re-roll for initiative. If you get worse, then just adjust it to what the new one was, because uh, it's going to be a right fucking mess otherwise. Okay. Just everyone roll again, please. Um. So I'm going to attack with my um, short bow, obviously. Um, the one that... Scathis was just attacking. Where is he now? Is he still alive? The one who's in front of him? Yeah, he's still alive, yeah. Okay. So the first shot will go to him, then. Yeah. Hit. Um, that's four damage. Okay, uh, first blood is sprayed from this hapless individual. And that's a miss. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, right. Um, and then he will duck back behind Siora. Back off down the hallway. Yeah, okay, yep. cool. All right. I'm seeing only one target in the room in front of them. Um, the three Shom guards, as a group, charge Scathis. Armor class 20 needed to hit. One, two, three. Blades strike out. Uh, one hits, his blade shatters at the impact. Um, the other two miss. Uh, you take an automatic six damage from that. Um, he hits you in such a... Kind of such a wild, frenzied panic um, that his blade breaks. Uh, Aljara moves here and holds until later in the round. Okay, Darje, we've had you. I was Scat next in the uh, in the original thing, but yeah, I'm just bringing it around. Thick it go. Okay, I uh, produce my my coveted little model and. <laughs> Uh, cast Spiritual Hammer. Okay, and is that the, the, the initiative includes the casting time? Yes, it does. Okay, then uh, make it so. Um, I uh, let the Spiritual Hammer manifest um, kind of there-ish. Yep. And it will um, fly directly at the first guy I can see, which is the only guy I can see, I guess. Um, to this guy over here. Um, it's now a plus two weapon, because I'm higher level. Because you're higher level? Cool. Um, so it, um, yeah, it, I guess I'll just roll a d20, because I don't know, I don't have a... Yeah, that's cool. 12 plus two at least. Um, I don't know what the, the, any other... Uh uses your dex because it's a missile weapon so that's three takes a drama class 15 which is a hit nice and so the damage is 1d4 plus 1 but I guess it's a plus 2 weapon now so I don't know if that's yes. plus yep. 2 yep d4 plus 1 plus 2 so that's 3, two, three five. plus 2 5 yep 5 okay cool right streaks down the hallway, strikes the guard right in the back of the head. He staggers, shouts, and realizes battle is coming from a number of locations. Senex and Siora. Siora, go first. Uh, I'm going to range oh, sorry, back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Suxis. Um, no I problem. Uh, Suxis uh, uh, steps forward uh, in front of Darje um, and uh, shoots his uh, her crossbow. Yeah, cool. We're always expecting you to go last, Kyle. I know. No, right? no, absolutely. It's completely understandable. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Nice. It's, yes. Solid thwack from the crossbow. Good. 
Uh, and let's do some damage, shall we? Oh, right. Already injured by the uh, the uh, spiritual hammer, um, the crossbow bolt snaps him clear in the spine and kills him. Good. Okay, good stuff. Right, now it's Yora. All right, while I'm hiding in shadows, I'm going to move in and get to this corner, and then I would like to ranged backstab on this Shom guard. Yep. Okay, so you slip stealthily around the side of the door. Wang. With a Hit. 16 yep, that for was, the first yes. one. Yep, that's the backstab. Um, I sadly only have bone arrows left. Oh! Oh my gosh, really? Please. Uh... Okay, so that's only three damage. That sucks. That does. But and the, then... Uh... I would like to hide in shadows again. <laughs> okay, uh, you need to break line of sight in order to be able to hide, which in the current situation you oh. can't do. All right, fair enough. Then ignore my roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, Senex. I will shield first. Excuse me, excuse me, and then get to there. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then I will charge this one in front of me. Okay, cool. Plus two to hit. Charge! The... Oh, so, as you come charging toward him, uh, he turns and just parries you at the last moment with his bone blade. Uh, with his broken bone blade, actually. That's the guy with the uh, with the broken weapon. And you fail to land your blow. Well, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> does, he, does he cut your ring finger off? And then, so. uh, <laughs> I say, uh, I, I will just go and stand over here. Ignore me. <laughs> Uh, initiative, please. Uh, if my ma if my action is to just maintain the hammer, do I bother rolling? Uh, you can do the hammer in addition to other things. Oh yeah, that's true, isn't it? Yeah. Um. I wish there was a way to re remove these guards from here. It's really annoying. The turn the order? I, I have no idea why it's doing it. Um, anyway, if it's um, from the turn order, you can click X on their t their the icon, I believe. Oh, is it really? I think so. No, I'm not seeing it. I'll have to look into that uh, at some other point. But anyway, they are first. Uh, one of them is anyway. The one on uh, the one on six. Um, so uh, he is. This one is attacking at a minus two because of his broken blade, uh, and the other one is attacking at normal. Uh, broken blade swings for Scathis. Uh, whoops, wrong roll. <laughs> um, miss. Other weapon swings for Scathis. The other one. Misses. Both of them fail to land a blow. Okay. Uh, Aljara moves to here and attempts an attack against the nearest of the guards. She manages to strike home with her steel blade. Uh, it's a pretty pathetic showing however um, but she does manage to uh to at least deal an injury um and then she drops to uh to both knees in case anybody wants to try and shoot over her head uh, at the same time as that thicket i shoot over her head all right don't miss <laughs> okay second one uh does in fact miss the first one is a hit roll damage for the first one please do the miss does not. Yep. Uh, the I also do the spiritual hammer on yep. the same target. So do I roll to hit on that? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, so that's a d20. Uh, that's a miss. Uh, that's a miss. Okay, so the spiritual hammer fails to connect, and the second shot goes wide. Ricochets off the wall, does not hit Aljara either. Darjay. Yeah. Seriously, just um, one damage from that arrow. <laughs> I am. Um... Welcome to my world, buddy. <laughs> We're so badass. I'm going to come in <laughs> here to the room. Yeah. And attack this nice fellow in front of me here. Yes. One moment for my character sheet. There we go. Oh! Okay, first one's one. a hit. First yeah. one's a hit. The second one's a natural one. Yes. Six. And that is enough to, yeah, by one hit point, bring him down. Pelted by arrows, crossbow bolts, magical hammers, and finally, your short bow, he perishes. Senex. Charge! <laughs> An old man charge. Yes! Back to the damage. Okay, the extra damage for charging, do I? Yeah, you do, don't you? It's plus two to hit or something. Uh, yeah. No, it's plus two to hit. Um, so that's a hit. You rolled a maximum damage, did maximum you? Maximum damage six, yeah. Okay, just a minute, please. You must be a great warrior. You did more than one hit point of damage. Your spear does not break. <laughs> and uh, I thought that was only on a crit. Uh, there's a couple of ways it can happen. All right. Um, they're all tied to maximum damage. Uh, he's thrown back against the wall as your spear goes almost clear through him, staggers sideways, holding his hand against a fountaining wound, uh, and then looks up, realizing that Scathis is looming over him. I stay there to flank for Scathis. Nice. Thought they'll need it. Oh, he might. Yes. Okay. That is that. The, the, that actually turns Scathis's miss into a hit. Very nice, thank you. And Scathis promptly slaughters him with a single blow. Yep. <laughs> Good job. Okay, and Scathis, you still have a number of, uh, of attacks remaining, should you wish to take them. I look at him worryingly. Uh, are there more people to attack? Not uh, not visibly. Oh, door. From over here, you can hear um, shouting and the sound of running feet. Scathis runs that way, shield first again, and bursts through the door. Burst through the door. Okay, there's a few things to show here. Um, that's one's the five ballistas aiming at you. Uh, no. Um, okay. Uh, so here you see there's a couple of guards in the middle. Um, it's just visible here. Actually, he needs his hit points boosting. Uh, what was that? Um, you see one of the uh, the, the Mool commanders um, shouting, and he's gesturing down in this direction. Uh, he's like, go, sir, go, we hold it. And you hear a familiar voice going, don't let them get me. The biggest <laughs> grin on Sihora's face. <laughs> Running off in that direction. Yeah. Okay. Um, where are we here? Uh, uh, that is a nat twenty with the other side of my mandible sword against this fellow. Okay. So uh, if you want to do maximal damage, maximum damage there, the mandible sword will break. Um, I won't. Otherwise, you that's all right. It. I'll just roll it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nine damage. That's nine. Okay. Yeah, well, that's almost as almost as enough to kill him. Um, a follow up he, with a bite. Yeah, you all but take his head off with a swipe from the uh, from the sword. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah. Yep. Bite, I basically bite, bite uh, clamp my jaws into his shoulder, and then toss my head back to throw him over to the other side of me as I rush forward with the shield again to uh, try and bash this fellow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he, he's dead before he even hits the floor. Um, you can hear the uh, the guy in the hallway as you r rush past the uh, 
uh, the guard in the hallway, he's kind of like, <laughs> as you go thundering past uh, toward his commander. Oh, another natural 20 with a shield bash. Um, will that break the shield? If you do maximum damage, it will, yes. Uh, it's not for the damage anyway, so I'll just roll it normally. <laughs> All right, Grendy. Uh, and he drops. What, these, what is with all these at 20s? Three crits. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, he slams back against the wall, goes to his knees in front of you, slumps sideways, <laughs> struggling to catch his breath. Uh, and Scathis will turn his head back and bellow. Lala Rush is here. He's escaping. And that's my turn. Okay, nice. Uh, Siora. Like hell he is. Um... I rush down here, come behind Scathis, um, and I will use my Widow's Blades to attack this guy who's pinned against the wall. Oh, the dude um, up in the hallway here? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, I will probably do... Um, can I... I mean, can I see anyone behind him? No, you... Um, uh, let me just reveal that a bit more, actually. There's the, what you think is the backside of a concealed or secret door. Right, okay. So I will, yeah, I will attack him. Boom, boom, boom. Could it be, is it a backstab because he didn't see me coming or? Uh, it doesn't matter. Backstab? No, he knows that he, he knows that there's, he's facing forward and there's a battle coming. So no. So again, unfortunately, that's a... none of those hit, I don't think, because the prongs only happen if I make an initial hit. That's very true. So you stab and thrust for him. He dances nimbly from side to side as the blades just kind of whisk past his abdomen. And then finally at the end of the round, Xuxis. Xuxis uh, follows uh, Shoran's stride uh, and uh, twangs uh, her opponent uh, with uh, um, a crossbow bolt. Cool. Oh no, it misses. Oh, okay, it misses. All right, Inish, please. Um, oh, that's good. A four. Oh, sorry. Um, I, I, can I redo mine, or can you do minus mine t minus ten? I just need to reload my uh, crossbow. Put it at ten. Ten, uh, ten less than that. I've got man. Oh, so it was your 11, so one. Yeah, I'm reloading. Yeah, okay. I will stand here and reload. Okay, just have to make a roll for um, your friend. There we go. Four. All right. Okay, uh, the initiative numbers grow. Uh, that mole bodyguard doesn't count. Um, Success, so you're on a one, you start reloading. Yeah. Okay. While they're actually on a four, um, panicked running noises. Uh, and Sura also on a four. Um, man, so I have rapid retreat. Just go. A part of me wants to, but I'm like, I don't know how many men are around this corner, and I could be completely screwed. True. Um. Ah, oh man, but my my desire to catch him is stronger. I'm rage. I'm gonna rap. Can I rapid retreat to to run past all these people? Yeah. So see that little door with the with the dots on it. Yep. That means it's locked. So oh. you get to here, and then <coughs> rattle, 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 rattle. Damn thing's locked. I have a key that was given to me. I did, yeah. Uh, well, not, not even that. I have a key that I took from the mall, the Shambone key. Yes. Which one are you Can trying I... first? Um. Is there one that looks like it would fit better? 
Yeah, I mean, if one is really big and the other one's yeah, rock, one really, is... and the lock is really big, then I mean... <laughs> Probably the one taken from Radisha upstairs would fit. Okay, I will use the one Zuxus gave me and try and open this door. Okay, door opens, use... If I, I'll show you the whole room. I get to it, try and open the door, Bust open it, it. Yeah, get it open. Um, you see a single Shrom guard standing here at the base of a ladder. That's all you see. Okay, and can I hear Lalaresh up this ladder, or...? <laughs> you can hear this ladder. <laughs> no, he's receding oh, he's... upwards, yes. Oh, he's climbing, that bitch. All right, I'm going <laughs> to run here, um, and then start uh, attacking this guy. Um, Getting all stabby. To, so I can chase Lalaresh. Yeah. Please. Okay, offhand, does that hit? I see 15, he is. All right, cool. All right. Three damage. Yay. Okay, you <laughs> stab. Um, he's like, <laughs> Go! <laughs> go, sir! Go! I, I will protect you! He shouts up the, uh, up, up, the sh up the shaft. Shouts up Lalarash's shaft. Um, Darjay. Uh, yes. So, can I move from where I am to where Siora is? In so, if you want to still take an action, you can move nine squares and still take an action. Okay. Um, let's see then. One, two, three, four, five. Can Are I these do squares diagonals? ten feet? Six. Seven. Yeah, they're ten feet. Yeah. So I can. I can Kimiko! make it. To, Greetings, I can make Kimiko. it to the bottom of the ladder. Yeah, you can. And I aim up the ladder. At Lalarash. At Lalarash's little 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 buns. That they... <laughs> just says, get down now. Okay. He's not stopping. I'm going to use barbed scorpion venom on these. So you use your bonus action to apply the uh, the venom? Yes. And then shoot. Yes. Okay. And that's nine squares to there, is it? Yep. Nice. Go. Lalarash um, is armor class 16, 14 from behind, 14 from uh, from below. So the first so one misses. One of, the, one of them's a hit, though. And then the second one hits, yes. Okay. Okay. So Lalarash. that's seven he needs to save. First off, let's just do the damage there as the arrow sinks into him. He takes seven damage from the steel arrow. Um, it stabs him right in the arse. He gives a high pitched in, in, in entirely brave sounding scream and then saves against poison. I got shot in the buttocks. <laughs> That's a pass. Oh. Okay, now there should be secondary damage for the poison. Uh, yes. Is it's it rolled? Better. Can you see? It'll be on my sheet. It will be. I'll, on, just, I'll just bounce there as well. Rogue. Uh, yeah, it's um, saved. Yeah. Okay, so hit hit that last one next to that that dice next to the two d four. Got it. Five. Five more damage to Lalarash. Okay. Uh, he yelps as the poison bites into his system, but he keeps climbing. Bastard. Okay. Um, the mole bodyguard. Uh, is oh yeah Spencer's around clambering himself to his feet with Scathis towering over him thicket um yeah I I I kind of I can move how far uh can, you uh, can move you can move three squares and, and take an action squares. what are you doing all the way up there <laughs> that's where I was <laughs> um you know what I'm gonna climb the ladder I'm going to see Ooh. if I can cut him off. Cut him off, okay. But do you know yeah. he's going up, though? No, I don't. I don't. That's a good point. I'm going to go as far as I can go, and then I'm going to do a, a double move, I guess. I... Yeah, okay, double move, so 12 squares. But then that, that's, that's you running, no actions. Um, but I can still use my spiritual hammer, right? Yeah, you can. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I can actually I can make it all the way here. My goodness. 
Okay, I'll, I'll cool. use my spiritual hammer on that. On that, actually, I'll stop short of that guy, and then I'll have, that, <laughs> I'll, I'll have the spiritual hammer go in first and, yeah, and go. whack that guy. Oh well, we can't all. Okay, it, at everything bing, 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 <laughs> because it's off the wall. Um, he. Uh... Well, it, I have it. It's looming in front of him. So he, if he has, if he tries to go for me, I'll try to have it intercept him. Oh wait. He... <laughs> Well, he uh, he does exactly that. Steps out of the alcove and uh, takes a little swipe at your hobbity head. Does he get the Swings with his bone blade. No, he doesn't. Oh, Hobbit natural move. 20. Um, he knows well enough. No, he hasn't left Scathers' as threatened area. Um, knows well enough not to use some maximum damage. Hopes for a good roll and deals five damage to you. Actually, he does get an attack of opportunity. Yes, Scathers, you'll get one against him. Um, no, Thicket, you nevertheless take five damage. Yeah. Well, he, 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 he... Uh, Scathis, yes, you hit him. I thought he would. I, I call him a, a poopy pants. <laughs> Eight damage. <laughs> and you all but eviscerate him. He lunges forward, lands a blow against you, and then behind him, Scathis looms over and is like... Conk! <laughs> takes a huge <laughs> gouge out of him with his mandible sword. And the guy nice. all but collapses Thank to you. the floor, blood fountaining from his poor body. Uh, Aljara steps into the position here and produces a hand crossbow and shoots at him. It's in slow motion, apparently. Oh, natural 20, and he only had one hit point left, so that kills him. She's been rolling really well. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> yeah, she's like 18, well. 17, 20. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, Aljara, Senex. I, uh... Adjust the uh, the spear. And I complain how cheap the spear is, and I like charge. Excuse me. <laughs> I go running through everyone. Can I? Uh, can I? Can I stab him? Past Gathis? Yeah, spear has reach. Yes, you can. Thank you. Uh, hit seventeen. Perfect hit. Spear lunges over your shoulder, Scathis, and stabs them all. Sorry if this hits you, Scathis. Excuse <laughs> Careful. Me. Five damage. <laughs> Is that your battle cry? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry if this hits you. Yeah, okay. Um, so uh, you hear Samus come running up behind you, and there's a lunge. <clears throat> Spear comes right past you, impales the guy solidly. The mole staggers backward, yanks the, uh, the edge of the spear out, but he's bleeding badly. Scathis, you're up. Uh, yeah, Scathis tries to capitalize on that opportunity. After swinging at that other guy, he turns back around and takes a swing at this mule. Oh my god, your blade connects. The eight and damage. Yeah, he had but eight remaining, and he falls, not quite dead, unconscious, out of the fight, um, collapsed, head lolling to one side. Uh, okay, everyone, a new round. Initiative, please. I high five Scathis. Well, what, do, what do you roll to just run fast? Would that just be general action? That would be general action roll, yeah. Are you kidding me? A 10? Are you kidding me? I'm going to scream. Again, again you're, you're, you're slower than me. That's It's, it's impressive. Are we all done? Oh, I think okay. so. Uh, Darje, you're up. I'm up the ladder is what I am. <laughs> okay, he's now scampering up the ladder. Yes, okay. Um, Lanarash has just reached the top. You see he's actually uh, out in the main street. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm assuming people are going to be going up the ladder, so we might as well uh, go back to the other map. Boy, he's angry. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's up to it's up to everyone else. Siora is definitely pursuing Lalarash, but if the others want yes, to be focusing on how Sham, then that's fine. Yeah. And he has arrived at the top of the ladder here. Okay. Well. Right, so yeah, drag your dudes over. Um, in fact, keep your guys out of the way just now and bring them up onto that level as they uh, as as and when they come up. So Darje, you're up there. Like you're literally yep. kind of 
pop out next to him. In fact, we'll put him just there. He's on the street, and you've come up literally. That's where the ladder is, exactly where you're yep. positioned there. So. Okay. Um. Well, I'm still. I'm. I'm right after him, right? Uh, you're all five initiative points ahead of him. He's just made the top of the ladder, pulled himself out onto the street, but you're up and behind him, out on on top uh, at the beginning okay. of the round. So go. I'm. I'm going to do. Um, my two claw attacks and my bite attack to try and incapacitate him so he is no longer running away. Okay, so then you want a CMB attack um, yeah. and it's a knockdown that you're looking at. And you CMB, need... CMB, that's general action? It's right down the bottom of that page. You'll see combat maneuvers. Of the weapons page? Yeah, if you scroll right the way down you should have combat maneuvers at the bottom. Mm. Grapple? What's it called? Which one? Yeah, uh, knockdown, grapple, knockdown. Knockdown trip it is. Okay. Okay, and you need to beat a total of 15, and you can make one attempt per attack, so you get three You get three attempts. One with each claw and one, another one with your bite. I got a 14. Bite. So you rolled a 14 with your, with your bite. You nip at his ankles, fail to connect. You need higher than that. You need to get 15. So now you get attempts with your claws. 20. Okay. The claw just snags him around his ankle. He pitches forward. Uh, blam! Slams onto the ground. Uh, you have another claw which you can use as an attack or something else if you want. Um, I want... To, can I... Um... Like hold him in place or... Yeah, I just want to hold him in place. Okay. So that, that's a grapple attempt. Or Drag him or back down. Drag him <laughs> That's what I was going to do. Well, you I'm, not do that? I don't, I don't think that Darje has the strength to do that. Um, Can he cover his mouth? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, that's part of holding him down. Yeah, make a grapple roll. So there's, there should be a grapple entry there as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're trying to hold his face down. He's pushing you away. You're sitting on top of his chest. There's a kind of mad flapping back and forward going on. Uh, but he is down. And he can't get up and get again without taking a full round to do so. So you have effectively immobilized him for the round. You stop. Uh, no, you stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the scene at the end of Hellraiser when they're fighting the engineer over the, uh, over the box. Um, Scathis. Uh, yeah, Scathis. Well, hold on. Let me move myself over. Uh, Scathis will emerge, see that Lalarash is pinned down, and he is going to try and pick him up, <laughs> cover his mouth. And I'm debating whether to drag him back down or just throw him back down the ladder. <laughs> throw him. Yep. He'll, he'll pick him up, <clears throat> throw him back down. Okay. I love that like, this is the view on the street is a man climbs up from the ground followed by a lizard who trips him and then this big lizard hand comes up and just picks him up and throws <laughs> him back down. Okay, uh, his CMD is 15, so that's what you're going to beat with your with your combat maneuver roll. So it's Those grapple, guys. is that right? Yeah. It's your birthday. Oh, you oh, snare it. him easily and <laughs> drag him back into the sewer hole. He's like, no, 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 and then he's out and away and down from street level. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Move along, move along. Okay, right. Uh, we're just going to bounce back to the other map then, um, given that we're now <laughs> back in the uh, <laughs> the murder sewer. <laughs> uh, the bodyguard is down. Um, he's no longer there. Oh, Lalarash is next. Okay, so Lalarash begs for his life. Um, please, let me go. I, 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 no, look, listen, I'm, I'm just doing the Shisham's orders. I'll tell you everything you need to know. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you where the money is. I'll tell you where the Beatles are. I'll tell you where, they are. I'll tell you where they're coming from. <laughs> Success. Um, Success walks uh, in and um, so, tell us all these things now. Okay. And uh, where are we here? Uh, Aljara at this point likewise strides over, and you can see that she has uh, armed her hand crossbow, which she 
levels of Lala Rash. Where's Lala Rash? Come out of the shadows there. He's he's hiding over there. <laughs> <Don't do that>. <laughs> <laughs> Thicket. Oh, well, I guess I come around the corner. Um, yeah. And seeing as I've only, I can only move three squares, I'm going to just join the group with my full movement and then have my spiritual hammer hovering over his head. Okay, he looks up at the uh, glimmering beams of light dappling his face from the spiritual hammer. And you can see, oh, oh no. Literally, literally trying to bring the hammer down, but uh, holding back. Stop. Hammer time. Siora. She holds her widow's blade to his neck quite literally trembling with rage. This is probably the most emotional you've ever seen her be, like, genuine. And just holding back every ounce of herself from just striking him down right now as she just holds it to his throat just says, talk fast. Yeah, yeah. And uh, at the end of the round, we'll, we'll drop out of rounds here, but just Senex, if there's something you want to do. I will walk in and look to hit, look at him and make sure he catches my eyes. And I will put my my hat, my two fingers to my temple. And I'm going to detect. I say, if he speaks any lies, I will tell you. That's a deception, if anything, sort of thing. Okay. Um, ha, ha, what, what do you need to, to, to know from me? I, I mean, I mean, have, I, just have, said. And where is the gear that was stolen from us? There's his happy face. You can put it back on the normal size map now, because um... he there really he does look utterly punchable, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I am um... right. Well, I I, I, I presume you, you know uh, about about Fort Fort Melidor. Mm hmm. He can be on the the regular overlay, by the way, Lee. I am. Oh, okay. Well, Twitch hasn't caught up then from my side. Oh. Um. I, I presume you know about Fort Melidor. No. Okay. Where you where you get the the beat where you collect the Beatles? The, 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 that's the the staging area after um after they're altered. And they get altered in Kalidne. Yes, yes, they are. They're altered in in, in Kalidne. Where yes. in Kalidne? The ziggurat. How'd you heal the bite? Uh. Um, uh, the uh, elemental magics can remove the parasites. Uh, other than that, they die off uh, if you abstain from using the way for a while. A week? Two weeks? I don't know. The more you use uh, sonic powers, the, um, the, 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 the more they, they multiply. So that they're little creatures. Yes, yes. The beetles are infected with... Uh, Tethrides calls them psionic parasites. Right. Oh, it, some, it is, some, is a some, disease? Uh, I suppose it's like a disease, yes. Um, it's it's something that um, the sorceress queen of, of Kalidne must have discovered or created or... Tethrides found them in the ruins. So where's the money? Um, there's, there's strong boxes here. Where? And and uh, I, I'll show I'll show you. It's th th through there in in the room on the left. And there's I think there's some upstairs in in Radisha's shop. Mm -hmm. I suppose you killed Radisha. Yes. Well, his keys will open the strong boxes. I've got one as well. And he produces a key and holds it out, hand I shaking. Snatch it. 
And where's your money? My money? Yes. Uh, I've got a few silver in my pouch. And where are your trade bars and everything else? Um, Agristes took those back. They why, were not yours. Why are they trying to keep you alive? Well, because I did well. Did you, though? Agrestes said I was going to get another another chance, that I didn't actually... The, the, the Beatles actually did make it to Alterok. That was my job, and it, and it did actually work. And where are the Beatles now? Well, he destroyed the last batch, he says and points at Thicket. So you have no Beatles anymore here? Uh, n n um, no, there are more here. Yeah, where? Um, through the through the concealed door at the end of that hallway. Right. That's the, they're being packaged. And where's the defiler, the man with the Tethrides? Yes. He'll be back in Melador, or or Calidne by now. Hmm. I am going to attempt a mind link. Okay, that will cost you an extra 18 PSPs. Bastard. You changed the page. Uh... Natural 20. <laughs> so that's handy. Okay, cool. Uh, 18, you say, yeah? So it's 19. Yeah. Uh, so I was going to manifest it, but I don't need to, which means I get a probe. Ooh, one probing question as per probe. Let me just flip to probe quickly. Target with an open mind gets a seven throws against spells. And you get uh, one probing question. So let me just make a saving throw. against spells. Uh, he fails with a six. Anything we're desperate to know, guys? Whether he's talking the, the truth. I wanted to know where the defiler it's, it's, is. It, it's one question. Yeah. I want to know. And it, has to be, it has to be something he knows. Yeah. I want to know exactly where the defiler is. Okay, so you realize that he's already told you the truth. He oh, doesn't that, know. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. I thought there's two different guys' names. I thought it was. No. Tethrides is, is the defiler. It's the defiler. Okay. Do you want to do you want to re uh, rethink that? Um. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. What else? What would you, what would you want to ask him? Where's the, where's the other guy? The other leader of Shom? Well, we know he's other... on the. He's probably on the caravan, right? Caravan, yeah. Yeah. Ask, how does your ass feel? <laughs> <laughs> how does your ass feel, yeah. I would say, is there an immediate threat to us right now in this building? Like, are them, yeah, traps. Are there more? Is, is yeah, there traps anyone left? There. Exactly. What, what's the biggest danger in for you? this place? So you can see in his mind that or they were engaging in a rapid retreat, getting the hell out of here. They were they were fighting a rearguard action to let him get away, actually, because he ordered them to. Oh. So all those last half a dozen people who died did so that so that Lala Rash could run away up a ladder. It's, like it's a not baby. a probing question, but Darjay will ask: Is anyone going to come looking for you? I don't know about me, but when they hear what happened here. They will send people after you. <laughs> I heard... I heard Agristes say... 
that if the Gith didn't finish you off, that they were going to find and employ Mothgar. Can I ring a bell? What is a Mothgar? Do I so know, perhaps? One of you can make a knowledge check or a proficiency check or something similar. I'll make it. Well, mind link. I'm st mind link's still going, isn't it? You get, you get one probing question. Yeah, but mind link itself is still going. Yes. Um, proficiencies. So it oh. can be information, local history for. Uh, Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, um, you've you've heard you know only one person. Oh, sorry. Um, anyone else just adds a plus one to that. Yeah, you've heard the name Mothgar, a mercenary, a giant. Full giant. A full giant. Yeah. Bruh. Word has that he uses a ballista as a hand crossbow. Uh -huh. Shit. So how can we employ this guy? before they can. <laughs> um, we need money. Will Halsham send this one after us? Who did you hear this from? Agristy said it. To you? Yes. Where is Agristy's? He he's on the Amcatch. He'll be halfway to Balak by now. I think we, we, we know everything we need to know. We got everything out of him. Wait, the Ankitch. It is guarded, yes? Yes, they've, they, they've taken all the trade goods. They're going to they were going to offload them as soon as possible at, at, uh, at, at Grax Pool or, um, or Fort Thamo or maybe even Lodopolis and then sell the slaves in Balak. I guess he's the only one traveling. No, he has uh, a, a dozen or more Shum guards. Where were you going to go? Um, I was going to get a, a Krodlu and, and ride for Balak. going to send him a message in his head. You know, Siora's going to kill you, right? No, 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 no! I've I've told you everything that I, I I can look. I can show you where the correspondence is too, and that that, that shows where the, where the beetles are going as well, and who's buying them. Where is the correspondence? I'll show you. Come this way. No, tell us. Well, it's it's in that the room on the left there. Mm -hmm. And where is it? Is it hidden, or is it just in plain sight there? No, it, it's like ledgers and scrolls and and. And records. Right. Okay. Thank you. Do you all mind if me and Lalaresh have some privacy? No, if you need it, that's fine. Don't take too long and don't let him escape. No, not again. Dajay will wait outside. I will go and uh, take Senex with me and we go find that correspondence and then we're going to get those uh, money boxes in there. Uh, yeah, the lock boxes are needed. Yes. As I'm walking off, in my mind, I say, nice knowing you, Lalarash. Lalarash starts crying. Oh, <laughs> typical. Again. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, we stopped feeling bad for you the first time you betrayed us. <laughs> Before long then, Siora, you are left alone in the bloodstained chamber at the bottom of the ladder. Um, yes, Arnout? I'm leaving the spiritual hammer hanging over his head, but I leave the room. Okay. <laughs> I would just say that anyone who's in an adjacent room would just hear Siora yelling and screaming at him and the sound of just pure 
anger and rage and it goes on even longer than Lala Rush's screams <laughs> by the time anyone has finished um Sura would probably join Zuxis and Senex in the room covered in blood behind her just a mashed pile of flesh as she has torn him to pieces and you do probably see tears down her face but she doesn't look like she's crying but she has the the visual of of tears and she comes in as they're still flowing did you find it it's all here great let's oh, get the lock boxes Queen, is that you <laughs> she has problems <laughs> That reminds me, the vial that I asked Suxus to get me is now filled with a red liquid. Um, and I'm going to be looking for a, the strong boxes. After, you know, wiping as much blood off myself as I can. Yeah. yeah right, okay. Well, the, the blood is largely... Darje licks the backs smooth. of your knees. <laughs> <laughs> um, if there was anything on Lalaresh, I'll have taken it. Like if it, you know the the coins he said he had the silver or whatever, um, but uh, yeah, I I do actually. That reminds me. Before I head off to get the lock boxes, I go to leave and then I turn to to Senex. Your parasite problem. I have an idea. I have an ability. Where I can control bodily blood flow. I'm wondering if the parasites are within your blood if I'm able to extract them using this ability. Worth a try. And I will head over to Senex. Still, still tears just pour, even though she sounds fine and hasn't got like the crying expression, still, they're still going. Um, she Not will. I would me, like to. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to try biofeedback. I believe it costs me three PSP. It's in that personal. Um, oh, it's not. Is it, is it personal? It ranges. It might not be. I'm just looking now. Sionis receives. It's personal. Yeah. Oh no! So I can't use it on him. Uh, correct. Oh, that's such a shame. That would have been a cool idea. I I like the idea that she doesn't know that. She's never tried to help someone with it before. Yeah. So she goes to do it and it just doesn't... It works on yourself. It starts doing it to yourself. Ah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for giving you false hope. It was worth a try. Maybe one day we can sit down and I can help you enhance your... The psionic powers. Thicket will walk in and see... See, uh, Siora covered in blood. Castromandus's fumes, what happened to you? It's not mine, don't worry. It's the wrong color. Are you, are you hurt? Oh, no. I'm fine. Okay. I just think it's so funny. That uh, all of this stress and hatred towards Lalarash when it was when it was you that did it all to him. It's just no. it's like you turned it around. And he's, he feels That's not guilty. Fair. He feel, yeah, he feels guilty. <laughs> he's like, I haven't actually done anything. He did poison her. He, did, he that, poisoned it. all of her. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And then he poisoned all of us and betrayed us. So yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but obviously yeah, he all did the stuff that. before that. It's just and, and, and more and more importantly, she needed to do this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Siora needed this more. This yes. is this isn't even about Lala Rush. This no. is about so much more. Exactly. Um yeah. but yeah, I, I try and wipe off the the blood and then I'm gonna go get the try and find the lock boxes, because I want to buy myself some steel widow's well, blades. Uh, there's there's not I, there's we in that one. Uh, yes. Okay. We um, should I'm, find the lock boxes. I'm <laughs> gonna go up we to can Senex. buy widow's blades. We can buy me widow's blades. <laughs> <laughs> Did, you ever get an answer, by the way, as to where our stolen equipment went 
Um, yeah, that's all on the on the on the caravan going to to Balik, and we, yeah, have, that's to, what, we, that's and we have to hurry up because they're going to offload said, right? the equi the equipment much earlier than they're actually going to offload the 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 slaves. <laughs> slaves are going to be all also, at the end, but the 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 the, the, the trade goods earlier. Siora, you cannot go walking on the streets looking like that. We'll go wash up in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to wash it off. <laughs> It won't come off. Oh, you, damn you, spot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so look, if you go back to the main, the large over... <laughs> you go back to the large overlay, you'll see um, poor, uh, poor Lalarash's <laughs> body being already being defaced. Yes. Um, yeah, as is your uh, your habits in such, uh, in such situations. Um, so I've revealed the entirety of the underground complex for you here. Um, just to... Uh, uh, to give you a proper understanding of what is what... Um, this chamber here, once you get a good view on it, um, is where the actual beetle uh, packaging um, happens. Um, the sturdy wicker cages lined with shakat, with filled with shakat beetles, line the walls of the room. Um, I will show you a little image of that as well. Um, this one right here, this little room here are the offices where the um, uh, records are being kept. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he did say in the, in this room on the left over here are, uh, are the, is the lockbox. Okay. And you've seen here indeed a, a couple of heavy wooden chests. Um, the rest of the place is... Uh, Troop quarters, um, storage, and uh, and sleeping chambers, and there are a few personal effects um, worth a number of silver and copper pieces, ceramic pieces in there as well. Yeah. Um, so if you want me to top those up for you, I can. Yeah. Yes, please. Just from the um, from the from the troop and agent quarters, there is a total of one hundred and forty-five silver. Nice. And three hundred and fifty ceramics. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, somebody writing that down? I'm on it. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, as for the uh, the beetle room, this this is a one for the um, the regular sized overlay. Uh, this image here shows how it might have appeared had you stumbled across them doing their work. Um, you can see the ladder, you can see um, various beetles being packaged up and ceramic. I'm not it's a guy quite... that's just gotten crawling on him. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what this guy's doing. He looks really happy about it. Uh, they're like, oh, yeah. that tickles. Like, Jerry, we've told you about this. <laughs> he's probably not that totally gifted, though. <laughs> <laughs> not gifted in any way. I think he's... <laughs> I'm quite sure what he's I was doing. Trying to be nice. <laughs> yeah, so, but you can see like the the, the various uh, wicker cages in the in the walls yeah. in the hole, and then here they are, kind of got them in storage places. And I dig their masks. Yeah, all no, right. They don't do hats, but they've got just the best masks, like like a welding mask, just to stop the beetles from leaping into your face. I suppose. Yeah. He's putting them in a little pot here. It's kind of cool. Um, this one is. <laughs> This is Dark Sun characters trying to read. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, I don't know. <laughs> throw, throw. <laughs> oh, what's this? Useless. <laughs> this is so frustrating. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, trying to get to grips with uh, with what the, the various pieces of correspondence say. And uh, this actually is a little sample of that actual correspondence. To give you guys a bit of a bit none of, of us can read. <laughs> so, so I can, can read. Celic, Celic, Celic can. And Siora. Oh yeah, Siora as well. You freaks of nature, you. Bruh, six hundred silver for a hundred beetles. Thicken. Can you, can you, you read? You squashed you... our money. <laughs> so, so um, Suxis asks uh, uh, the both of them to read it to her, so she knows what's in there. The information. I will read oh yeah, if, out, if... yeah. Oh yeah, Senex has got it. That's all good. Okay. Is there, is there any money in this room for the beetles? So, so there's a, there was a couple of chests. Yes. 
maybe check those for traps for poison or something like that so Darja has stepped away for the time being mm -hmm. he's off off relieving himself somewhere yes he is uh so um yeah you can i can roll for him if you want yes please i'm not as good at, at that as <laughs> as a dodge yeah okay uh banner of traps ticket was coming over to me as well so yes i was um but Luca, oh, wait. wait, wait for your headphones. <laughs> um, they're just wanting to, they've asked you to, to check for traps on uh, these chests they found. I rolled for you because you were away. Um, you didn't find any traps on them. Well, can I roll now? Go Some on then. Stupid, all seeing, all knowing god of my universe trying to tell me what to do. Yeah, I want to will. You're not my dad. Oh, wait. <laughs> dad? I moved out. Uh, rogue skills, find, remove, trap. It's a trap. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Yeah, there's a trap. Um, you it's see, a trap. Yeah, um, you see a fine tracery of what looks like magical runes over over one of the boxes. You could remove it, but you only have a seven percent chance of doing so. Mm. You can find, remove magic traps, but it's always at half of your normal. Half your normal level. Dodge has located trap, but it is magical. Do we know what the effect would be? He does That's, not know. That much is beyond you, correct. He can so, like, try and remove it, but... We do you know see. how it's triggered? You think by, by trying to by opening. trying to open the box. <laughs> <laughs> so, if we, so if we break the box... That's also opening. That's uh, there's no okay. cheat for that It'll one. There'll be any interference. Yeah. Um, well, good luck, mm. Dodge. I can <laughs> uh, I can attempt it. <laughs> I think that's um, up to Dodge at that point. But you will you will you will you will most likely trigger it. Probably. So why don't we take the strongest of us and have him just. Um, <clears throat> Open it. it. <laughs> there is a trap. Yora could open it. Yeah. I could, could open it. Ten foot pole. No, just. Uh, yeah, if, if it's. Uh, yeah. It's not, That's it's true. Not... I could just shoot it. What if I shot it with my bow and arrow? Yeah, you don't. What's the, what's the lock made of? I don't know. I just know it's trapped. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we have to open it, but uh, it's, it's not, unlikely that it's going to be poison because then it wouldn't be, wouldn't be magical. So, is it magical? Yeah, it's magical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on. What about the other? Is there an, is there another chest that isn't trapped? Yeah, there's one that is and one that isn't. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, I'm going to open the one that isn't trapped. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. I I have a dispel magic spell. Oh, that would be great. Can I use that on this? So do I. <laughs> uh, yes, you can, and you would need to roll a. Uh, your level what six? Yes. You would need to roll a twelve or higher to dispel it. Very well. I Come will on, do so. It. It's your birthday. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. On a d20. Yeah, I'm rolling the macro thingy here. I don't know if that. Hey! hey! Yay! Rock and roll. Yep. Okay. Oh wait, let me just double check. Let's make sure I actually have the components and all that. Oh shush! Sure, sure. Forget about that. Just don't worry about it. You no, do. there's no components. It's verbal, verbal and somatic. Okay, so. there is a flare of a uh, dispel fire trap. Uh huh. I figured and it's no longer trapped. Open sesame. Okay. I so it worked. 
the one that was trapped has uh, 250 ceramic pieces. Oh, very good, Ubelai. 440 silver. Nice. Ooh. Even and, better. <laughs> and 10 gold. Jeez. Stonks. I say we each the, get one. The other one uh, has only a small uh, cloth bag and a long bone tube. What's in the tube? What, what is that? What's in the tube? You pop the tube open. Inside is a smooth stick. Oh polished, my god! Polished black wood chased with silver runes down its length. Is this the last one? Oh, it's not a uh, not, not a rod of the, of the dead mine. Oh, I thought is we it, had like collected the Triforce got, uh, there. Well, we haven't got the other two. Is it have I got any idea what it rod? is? Yeah. Or it's is a, it a... like it's like like a, a, a stick like a magic wand of polished black wood with it... silver runes down its calling down. Is it quite slender, or is it like a? More yes, it's 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 slender, like a, like a an over a wand, over long it's... chopstick. I'm not going to say yeah. it. Say it! <laughs> <laughs> it's very wand-like. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, there's a lot so of much. words I could I use. I wonder what it could be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that what a wondrous item. Right? <laughs> yes. I can try to have a look at it. And a little a little, a little, pouch that feels like it's got stones or probably gems or something inside. Let's have, let's have a look at this in the, in the pouch, guys. Diamonds. Harry bows. Six diamonds. Six diamonds. What? Nice. We hit bank. Okay. Well, let's let's. That let's... means we all get one each. A study to stick. Okay. It's a, pointy it's a, end goes in the other man. It's a stick. It's quite <laughs> quite quite sticky. It's not a sale like stick. No. No. Don't know. It's it's it, it looks like something magical. If you pick it up, you might pull a rabbit out of a hat. I put it back into the sleeve. We can in show the, in, the, in, the, in the in the rod tube. Yeah, we can show this to uh, my friend with a long name. Aristoteles. Arresting speed. Arresting speed. Arresting development. I want to yeah find the other lock boxes and. Upstairs, Honestly, yeah. rob the shop as well. Like. <laughs> rob it. I'll have a look at the diamonds as well. Mama yeah, wants some steel valuable. widow's blades. And we steal, we steal all their food. Again, fact, I think, gang. I think, I think. The half thing in might, them, isn't it? <laughs> I think it might actually be spending more time in the pantry <laughs> than like at the at the cash register. Yeah. He's just it's, like it's, they've got it's, honey and they've got. It's, 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 it's runs back a little bit of a glutton, or not? I collect a, a lot of paperwork as well. I think it's a hobbit. Yes. I, I want to take all this paperwork to uh, my friend. Um, and we, we take two um, two of these... Um, actually, why not three? Three of these uh, things with the the, the, the the beetles with us. Okay. Three little cages of beetles. One for success. One for the lady who brings it back to Kirodias, and one for our host here at, uh, who has allowed us to do this raid, your friend. Well, didn't she want something in here she said it was hers? Oh. Right, the lady that told us. Aljara. No. Who's the lady that's in here with us? Aljara. Yeah. yeah. Didn't she, she say no, she, she, was she, she works for House Kirodias. Oh, okay. And, I think uh, she just wanted to fight how Sham. Yeah. Her uh, her job is to make sure that this. Uh, we, we we need a copy of the important papers that we we're, we're getting from here, but uh, I, I suggest that I the whole. I've taken the whole documents. thing. Taken the whole I, thing. Yeah. So yeah. you can see you can see on the overlay right now the um uh the kind of descriptions that are that are, are covered in those in that paperwork. Um, yeah. there's a, a rough identif a rough idea of the price. Uh, yeah. Named individuals who they're going to. Yeah. The confirmation that they're coming from Fort Melador. 
that they're going to, to Nibane. Maybe even there's even suspicion that the Shadow King himself is buying them. Um, the fact that Melador is coming comes under attack from Elven Raiders, that the guards are doubled there. So there's a quite a complex overview of the uh, of the situation. Yeah. And I'm just gonna um, just for for, uh, for context, I'm gonna pull you onto where is it? Back onto the merchants map here on the regular sized overlay. Doesn't appear on your map, um, but the descriptions in the correspondence make it clear that Fort Melador is here, just at the edge of the uh, the Lost Oasis, all the way down on the salt flats, by the salt flats where Kalidne is. Have I heard of this place before? Could it have been named something else in the past? Fort Melador? Mm, no, you think you know the name, but this is this down here is is, is dangerous territory. I mean, there's the gold road that runs all the way down to Wallace, um, this thing here, and it passes by Kalidne. But this this entire area around here, uh, this is deep desert, as you know, home to Gith tribes, home to uh, various various um, dune raiders. It's, it's, it's inhospitable territory. Should we just go to Tyr holiday? Nice, Tyr's safe. Yeah. Vacation. Yeah. So you guys are currently here, right? Where's roughly the Amcash at this point? The Amcash is going to be... Uh, how many days in are we? Uh, just a minute, please. I'll give you an exact... Okay, it left on the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. Raid... Red de Sears house... On the 18th, so it's been on the road for one, two, three, four days. Um, it will, it's probably reached South Lodopolis by now, so it's probably here. Okay, uh, we, 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 are, so... we are one day after we were imprisoned, right? No, um, you were given to the gith on the 14th, the caravan left that day, you escaped yes. the gith camp the next day on the 15th. You arrived back in Alturk on the 16th. You spent the 17th resting. Today is the 18th. The caravan's been on the road for four days. Okay. But well, we knew this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's continue. Yeah, let's just raid this place and then give the stuff over to Synex's friend and then get on our way, I think. Well, well, Maybe well, after well, buying some things. We, we, should, we should give the stuff, the, this correspondence, and we sh should give the... Uh, one of the, the the boxes, the Beatles, to your contact uh, from, from House Kirodias. To Aljara. Yeah, because she needs to shuttle that to uh, Kirodias. Uh, and then we give. Uh, uh, Success wants to keep one of those those boxes of the Beatles. Uh, and then we have a third box we give to your uh, your friend uh, who, the preserver. Cyrus Vistanelis. Yeah. Yeah, him. Yeah. And then the, we, we divide <laughs> the loot amongst ourselves. Well, we do a thorough search of this place. Anything else left? If not, then we... Yeah, okay. So I will... Um... Up upstairs, we need to still go, right? Yeah. So on the large overlay, you can see the... Uh... Oh, there's, there's, <laughs> there's Lala Rash. Here he is. Oh, I'm still alive. You can't catch me. Woohoo! <clears throat> <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Settle, settle down. Um, <laughs> and take this shit lightly. Um, so yeah, over here. Then um, this is the, as I mentioned before, a well kept storefront over here. Shelves displaying numerous examples of pottery, jars, urns, plates, jugs. Um, offices in here. No Shrom documents, just Radicia accounts. Uh, here you discover another secret, one of the secret entrances in this little cupboard here. Um, and another secret kind of storeroom area here. Plus crates of earthenware, packaged bottles ready to ship. More cluttered and dirty than the storefront. Um, this is a workshop with several large, uh, large kilns and the surrounding rooms are all storerooms. Um, we just lost Grandy. Oh. 
Imagine. Just currently, we're, we're having some internet issues, so we're swapping to hotspots, but I oh, think okay, it's cool. cut out quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, and back in the uh, in the bedroom areas, back here is where you find the um, the various takings for the shop, and you can see that much of it is probably being funneled down into the strong house below. Um, but you do come away with about another two hundred and fifty ceramic pieces. Nice. Um, in, uh, in in purloined goods, but the stuff on the on the on the the surface level appears completely legitimate. The only sign that anything untoward is going on was the um, the entrances. One here you found one in the bedroom over here, and of course the one in the alleyway down there. I draw a plan, a quick sketch of the plan at a place where the entrances are. Yeah, that's proved it so. Uh... So, um, I suggest um, we bring any uh, any and all of the bodies downstairs. We clean up here a bit, and then we hang uh, a for sale notice on the door here, and that uh, they had moved uh, moved away back to uh, wherever. And Acceptable. Then that, uh, and that's it. Well, um, we do that. Success. Would you mind doing a little bit of shopping? Sure. Would you be able to get me two steel widow's blades? Sure. And honestly, if you're able to, um, I would really appreciate you getting me um, some steel sheaf arrows too. Oh, that's expensive. Sure. Only if only if they're not too bad. If they're too expensive, do not worry. I don't know. It's it's. it's it... Uh, you were out a, a significant amount of money uh, from uh, uh, re-equipping us, so um, I don't the, the widow's blades are already a lot, so we should just focus on those for them. Okay, uh, I'll go and I'll do some. Shopping. If you all don't mind. No, no, no. That's good. Let's go. Um, I will try and uh, exchange uh, our ceramics first, and leave the portable. Uh, Bigger denominations to last uh, with expenditure, them, so we can carry them along with us if we don't spend it. Mm -hmm. okay. And that includes, uh, I would say, the gems. Yeah. Right. And okay. I think what the diamonds used for. How how well cut are these diamonds? They were they're well cut. Components potentially. Yes, well, that's what I'm thinking. Well, so yeah, well they were with this other, maybe wand or whatever it is. I think we need to keep the diamonds and the wands to get one thing, whatever it is, together for now. I let the preserver have a look. You, you mean the sticky thing? Yes, whatever it <laughs> is. Yes, right. It's, it's wrapped up for a reason. It, it looks magical. If you look at the 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 mm -hmm. the, 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 the symbolings on, on it, it's, it looks like that. Yes, that's why I think uh, we should let. Well, let's let's wrap up here. I'll go to the market and I'll meet you in front of the, the gate of uh, of his uh, place. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and, and br bring the three uh, boxes of the crickets with the the, 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 the beetles. Are you buying? Uh, are you also going to get decent leather armor for those who've had theirs downgraded? Or? Yeah, I'll do. I do all that in one yeah. go. Yeah, okay. and then I'll sort that out between games, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well then. You leave Rodicia's house behind you and reconvene at Aris Vistanlis' tower. An hour or so later, Suxus joins you, having been busy at the market. The bearded preserver is indeed interested to see what you've recovered, <clears throat> examining the box with the Shikart beetles. He passes some spells over it. There is a kind of enchantment upon them, but only to ensure that the parasites take hold, nothing more than that. This is cunning work. You say that Rodicia's house is now unoccupied? 
Yes, it is. Um, we, we hung uh, a, a notice on the door that um, they ha have left the, the town and that the, the place is for sale. Hmm. Good. But then we'll make... don't look in the cellars, please. I will have it cleaned out and we will find a suitable buyer. What do you plan to do next? We need we to have... catch up to the... Uh, Take back our caravan. The Amkech. And make sure that the, 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 the guards there are not being sold into slavery. The caravan? It yes. must be... Nidopolis. South Nidopolis. Yes. You have Kanks, yes? Yes. It will take you two days to reach South Lodopolis, by which time the caravan will will have reached Fort Glamis. If you make full haste, you will catch it somewhere between Fort Glamis and Balak itself on the Road of Legions. So, to go back to the other map. On the smaller overlay, Fort Glamis is here. And he's saying you'll end up catching it somewhere here mm -hmm. at the edge of Balakan territory. Yeah. Which is no closer to Melidor or Kalidne, I suppose. Not really further away, either. Not ideal. Do you well, know she like know the faster way. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> a faster way than Kanks. Yes. Riding Crodlu are, are a little faster. A little less reliable, but... Uh, That's the thing. That is an option, but that won't shave much more than a day or so off your journey. You have friends aboard this caravan? Yes. Yes, we do, actually. Yeah. I do. Commitments, yes. see and the matter in Kalidne will come next you are not concerned that by prioritizing your commitments as you call them you will give not be giving Shom a chance to reinforce to conceal to remove to deny you the resolution that you need I don't think they, they they think us capable of doing that anyway. Otherwise, if they thought us that much of a threat, they would have had us killed, right? Well, they've tried that. No, they thought selling us to slavery to the Gith would be a good enough, and they already have another plan to get us killed if that isn't, doesn't work. It doesn't involve... Uh, we weren't being sold into slavery to the Gith. We were being, being sold to dinner. Yeah, but... You know what I mean, uh, and they, they would they would sick this 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 giant on us. That was their their fall, fallback plan. Not to, I don't think they see us as a threat that much. But I, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. It's more likely that they do not have the opportunity to uh, amass great forces against you. You are a small and fast-moving group. They cannot exactly muster a mercenary army. No. You could hide from such a thing easily. 
Yeah, uh, they the they intend to set the, the, a giant on 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 our heads. That was was the fallback plan, apparently. Oh. What's, his, what's his name? Uh, well, there are board? plenty plenty of those around here. As long as it's not that one. As long as it's not Mothgar, I was going to say. That was the one they were talking about, apparently. That will be a fight that tests you. He is a brute. Oh. They say he led raiding parties against the dwarves of Lodopolis. And he has appeared at the walls of Alteruk more than once. Well, I do not envy you. But you see what I mean? I think they think they've got this in hand. I don't think they... They think they need to, to protect themselves with Kalimay. With Mothgar, they might have it in hand. Hmm. Oh, then my advice to you is to move fast. And do not tarry in one place over long. Can you tell us or a bit more about this Mothgar? Where does he live? Where is he coming from? Well, he lives on one of the islands in the estuary of the Sea of Silt. He simply wades ashore to take contracts from those who can pay him. If, uh, if House Strom had been alerted to what you did at Radicia's house, and I presume there are those that fled. I'm not sure, but I think we got most of them. Uh, well, most is not enough. I'm not sure. Then you have a handful of days at best before he's on your trail. And he can walk as fast as a kank. <laughs> He's a giant. Yeah. But so we need, to, we, we, we need to get moving. Yeah. Uh, we also found this thing. I might pull out this wand-like thing. I'm assuming it's magic. This is an old piece of work. Where do you find this? They had Wonder. it. Among the possessions, yeah. That is strange. Why would they have something, something like this? I do not know what it is. I guess it is. Well, they have a defiler working for them, do they? That's a defiler working for them here, yeah. Hmm. He could have had it as part of an arsenal to be called upon. What is it? Does it require diamonds to power it? No, it does not. It has a command word here. I would not say it. But it fires multiple blasts of magical energy. Missiles made of pure magic. This was made by Master Wizard. It will easily fire four or five at once. And a so honest use one. It'd have to be a wizard. This anyone can use. Excellent. Good to know. Thank you. Well, look, that already gives us a heads up for for the giant, doesn't it? Yes. Point and click. Um, and I presume, presume it works by, by uh, holding it and then saying the, the, the word, the command word? Yes, concentrate on the target. It will not miss. And, and what is the command word? Uh, please don't hold the stick. He puts the stick, he puts the stick down. Magaros. Magaros, okay. Good. Well, that is uh, uh, as our business concluded here. I hand over a lot of the the paperwork and stuff, and and uh, we give him a, a box of the Beatles as well. Eh? Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously showing the a lot of the uh, obviously the paperwork go through, and I uh, clearly he can notice me reading some of it out. It's not going to him, the paperwork. It's going no, to... No, no, uh, but I yeah, wanted yeah. to show him, obviously, yeah. the proof that maybe he needs to lighten down his hatches, his end. Uh, 
Is there a way we could send this? I oh, mind you, give it to. Yeah. That's exactly what we we're going to do, remember? Yeah. The Aljara. Yeah. She's going to take uh, a box of the Beatles and she's going to take uh, the documentation so that uh, Kirodius has proof that uh, Shom is uh, screwing around with her uh, caravans. And that uh, gets us off the hook with her. Remember? We're not really doing this completely out of our free will. Well, obviously the rest of the uh, the proof has been lost, but I can write down everything that was uh, proof from before, all the captain's names, and make sure all of that information's in there for us to send to Corogus as well. And John nods. No, this is will come in extremely useful. I'll prepare a mount and make for Nibane immediately. Is she a Nibane? I... I have no idea. I won't be able to find out until I get there. Yeah. Okay. But Dorian will take possession of this. Okay. And you will have her gratitude upon... Well, upon her receipt of this information, if nothing else. Ever safely, Ndaje thanks you for your help. Um, Xuxis gives brief instructions on how to feed the beetles and keep them alive on the journey. Aljara is grateful for your thanks, Darje. And for your help as well, Zuxus. She gathers the paperwork, one of the beetles, and nods, a smile crossing her rough elven features. May we meet in less interesting times, she says. Oh, um, you might want to take note of that one letter. Uh, I don't know where it is, I can't read it, but um, where there is this order for 300 beetles and who they suspected it's from. That might be noteworthy because that I think is a customer you should not uh, let down. I am going to make sure that this, none of it becomes my problem. <laughs> I'm not paid enough for this. No. Until next time. Yes. And uh, Aljara hurries off. Do you happen to have an elemental priest here? Apparently that could be the cure to my troubles. Um, I, I think we might be able to. Uh, we we might be able to do this, yeah. Well, if you have anyone who's able to teleport us somehow. <laughs> <coughs> I will, uh, shall, I, shall I do the honors for the remove disease go for it and i will try a curse okay good oh, removing a curse not giving you one you have enough on your mind <laughs> and i need to so, shoot you in the back so uh, uh, so uh, steps forward and uh puts a scaly paw on your shoulder it's another scaly paw on your other shoulder and rubs you down then on your forehead grasps it you feel it tighten slightly you see her close her eyes you see her mumble a bit and then she pushes your head backward uh, with that completing the ritual of the spell casting a cure disease the strange light headiness that you've been feeling since the bite of the shakat beetle lifts Senex, and you know almost immediately that the infection of the sonic parasites has been removed. Woohoo! But I can still feel there's a butt there. You do not feel my butt without my permission. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe the the only butt that was in question today has already been completely eviscerated. Oh so. yes. 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 He's been yes. Thank you, Xerxes. Good job. That definitely would. You think? Oh, absolutely. Um, you don't? I can try a uh, curse removal as well. I, I would you make to make sure. I think we should do that as well, I think. I, I Necessary. Turns out if it, his longevity uh, is a curse and he just dies. I, <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly <laughs> recover, yeah. I, I, I feel I, so much better. And then it's like uh, that melting uh, fist uh, thing from the Indiana Jones and uh, the uh, Last uh, Crusade. Uh, it chose poorly. 
but I think that's yeah. uh, that if it yeah it won't harm him and uh, right. What do you think? Uh, Feel free to let try. Us, let us let us wait for a day. Okay. And if tomorrow he is still suffering ill effects, then we can try that. That's a smart. Uh, yeah. A day then. Mm-hmm. Presumably that will be a day of rest and recuperation. No, um, travel. No, 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 no. We'll travel, but we'll let. I'll, I'm going to wait until tomorrow to try a remove curse if that's needed. Okay. It doesn't mean I, I don't necessarily need to rest that entire time. Did right. I manage to get a hand crossbow? Yes. Yeah, I bought that one there for you. The last you already had it during the battle. No, I didn't. But you said <laughs> you could buy it. No. Then then Asura gave the money and, we, and it was actually bought. Oh, okay. Thank you. I would have bloody you, you, would, you were just carrying it around for nothing. Yeah, I would have been <laughs> shooting that. Charging it with my spear. Bloody uh, <laughs> 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 useless, <laughs> useless <laughs> stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me just then get a, a certain decision from you. You're heading after the Amketch, or you're heading for Melodor and Kaladne? Heading after the Amketch. We're heading after the Amketch. The Amketch. Amketch. Mm. Okay. Decisions made then. I don't the... like the way you said okay I've, just no. then. Yeah, of course. Mark disagrees with this. No, decision. no, no, guys, the... you just have to ignore that sometimes. It's a yeah. red herring. It is. The trade road lies ahead of you. What's a herring? <laughs> That's I don't know. I, I, on I, the it's, it's, it's like wound like. It's wound like, I think. Yeah. It's, it's like what you use to cut down the largest tree in the forest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need a card for that wand. You'll get one. Uh, assuming you survive the encounter with the forces that currently guard the Amketch. And after that, there is possibly Fort Melador, but almost certainly the ruins of the city-state of Kaladne, home to the defiler Tethrides, and an entirely innocuous and unthreatening ziggurat. <laughs> <laughs> Which I saw described somewhere in chat here as another fucking rainbow pyramid. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Well, we shall have to see how that transpires as we draw ever closer to the end of the Merchant House of Chirodius. And we leave our our brave, brave, noble heroes um, enjoying their victories. And the final end of Lalarash! Huzzah! Huzzah!